Oh, that is hilarious. Guess who is back? Can you tell who's directing, who's just on the curtains? Welcome to Sewing Street. Good morning, my name's Vicky. Um, Paul is in the house. I knew it wouldn't be long. How have you wheedled your way back in, Paul? <laughs> he says it's only one day only, one day only, one show only. Um, but it's so, so lovely because we haven't seen Paul for months. So it's been really, really lovely to, uh, to have him back. Literally months. Um, it's been months since we've been all together. So we're going to have a really, really lovely day today. Um, we knew when, when um, of course, he had his last show with John, it was all very emotional. I was watching from home and it was really emotional. And actually, we said, you'll be back. Of course you'll be back. He's back already. He's back already. Uh, so today's show is brilliant. Abs I mean, you've already spotted lots of the products on the website. Loads is already selling. Um, I'll talk to you about pre-order in a moment. Let's start with the early bird and then I'll tell you what's coming up today because this hour is going to be manic as well. We've got loads coming up today. Brilliant early bird. Of course, an absolute essential when it comes to, to sewing is having a good quality thread. Uh, you'll hear Debbie talking about it in her adverts. Lots of our guest designers tips are always Get yourself a good quality thread um, because it will, of course, if you're investing in your fabrics and you're investing in your projects, uh, if you're doing patchwork and you're, of course, cutting your fabrics and you're basically stitching them back together, you want to make sure that you're using a strong, great quality thread. Um, Gutemann, a brilliant brand, polyester thread, 100 meters on each spool. And how perfect are these? for spring. You've got the most beautiful spring colourways, the oranges and the yellows. We're officially out of the winter blues, aren't we? Aren't we? Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, okay, so I've still got my Christmassy nails. I haven't ha obviously been able to go to the nurse. Island. Everything else, she says, I'm feeling summery. These reds as well are gorgeous, aren't they? Now these are your 50 weight spools, so they're your sew all threads. You can use them in your sewing machine. Also use them in your bobbin, use them for piecing. If you want them to sort of blend in with your fabrics or whether you want them to stand out with your applique, then of course um, you've got a great selection of colours. Now, these are really useful. These are called bobbin mates. Or well, I think a, a certain brand calls them, but they call them bobbin mates. And basically, can you see on this photograph, if you wind your bobbin with the same colour, you can keep them all neatly stored with the uh, coordinating bobbin. So if you've got a project on the go, you want to wind all your bobbins ready to go, then you can keep them with the spool, which is really good, isn't it? Oh, he's back. Kat texted me last night and said, are you ready for all Paul's jokes in the morning? He's already said, are you winding me up with those bobbins? Are you winding me up? Right, so price. Let's talk about price. We're at £12.99. Now, obviously, we always start the day, as we always do, with a discount. Today, it is a massive discount. We've had a look elsewhere, uh, and you can do the same. I know it's so easy to do, isn't it? I always do this anyway. Go and have a look at how much you can pay. Here, we're at n this one, 19 99 It's exactly the same pack, exactly the same colours, same amount of thread, the same 10 bobbin clips as well, 19 99 Today, normally, ours would probably be 19 99 as well, but we're at just 12 99 Oh, in fact, actually, we still always offer a great price. 18 99 normally, but today it's a £6 saving, which is obviously your postage and packaging, and a bit more back in your pocket, which is great, isn't it? Uh, so if you do want to open your order nice and early, remember it's only one postage and packaging all day long. Beautiful, really beautiful thread colours as well. These are going to be really, really useful for, for, for lots of your springtime projects. See, bear in mind, right, let's just not think about the, uh, the bobbing clips at the moment. The price per spool is £1.29. I mean, that's without your bobbin clips. Generally, when you start looking at Gutemann, sew all threads, I seem to see prices of between sort of 150 
to 170, 180 individually. So to be able to have your whole value pack, uh, which is a great value for money pack anyway at 20 pounds, but today with the discount of the early bird, it's amazing. Make the most of it whilst you can. Hi Terry, good morning, good morning. Come say hello on Facebook. We've got Catherine Wright joining us today for three hours. She's joining me this hour, not, uh, 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock for Yarn Lane. Uh, so we've got a very, very busy day. Only £12.99 for your early bird special, which is brilliant. Um, we Just so you know, we've got a lot of people who are buying multiples of these. Absolutely, go for it. Great value for money, isn't it? Whilst you have a look on the web, whilst you're checking out on this, have a look on the web for some bobbins as well. If you want some extra spare bobbins, um, the Janome bobbins maybe, um, they'd go perfectly with this. Then you're ready to go, aren't you? Then you're ready to go with your thread and the coordinating bobbin um, all on the same bobbin mate. Just £12.99 uh, for your early bird special. Keep going through, check out as soon as you can. Now, we aren't going to spend too much time on this as we've got a whole project to make this hour. Uh, we have got the most gorgeous, gorgeous tweed tote bag coming up this first hour. Let's have a look at the fact of what's coming up throughout the day. So eight o'clock this morning, tweed bag with Catherine Wright. It's her own pattern. We've got some brand new fabrics as well uh, coming up in this hour. There it is. Love it in the leopard, don't you? It looks amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it with the... Uh, the, yeah, I love the plant in the background and everything. It's very arty. Um, at nine o'clock, it's one metre madness. Now we've got fabrics. We've also got waddings. We've got all sorts. It isn't just ev it isn't just fabrics in that hour. Kat's been very um, you've you've been very savvy. You have absolutely. That's at nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. Let your light. Oh, I'm not going to try and sing that song again. We're in a very singing mood, aren't we? Let your light shine, fabric. Now, this is where everybody who is already searching on the website, check out on these fabrics as soon as you can because every single one of them is selling. 10% of the mega bundles already gone and we haven't even shown it yet. Look at these. So this is a bit of inspiration of what you can make with the, uh, with the fabrics, but it's all glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. How cool is that? It's actually really difficult to show you on camera, so we had a bit of a play with it this morning because in real life, in the dark, it looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm really excited for you to see it, especially at home. Um, now, go on, do you want to see it glow in the dark? Right, we're in the dark. Did you put the light, the torch on it? Ah. Oh. See, it will do this on its own. We put a special light over it to show you in the studio so you can see Kat's hands there. But um, when you get this home, it, it just glows in the dark. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. How cool is that? Right, so have a look on the website. Definitely worth making the most of it. I told you yesterday, we've been so jammy, Kat, with all of our fabric launches. We really, really have. The Solstice range was amazing. Yesterday's Michael Miller and this one this hour. Now, I've got such beautiful projects behind me. Um, if you do love knitting and crochet, we've got something for everybody today. Uh, coming up in the last hour, remember to tune over, uh, over for Yarn Lane because we've got beautiful mariner women's accessories. So shawls, scarves, hats, we've got a, the crochet bag. It's the first crochet bag that we've done on Yarn Lane. Uh, so that's coming up at 12 o'clock as well. Do come and say hello. If you've got any questions for Catherine, get them in. I've got the, our Facebook Live um, here. So. Let's start with the bundles, your kits. So, this is the one that Catherine's going to be working with. And this is going to be a really, really good one to have a bit of a, a practice with our pattern matching. Because to be able to get this pattern matching across all of the, the different sort of panels across the gusset looks very, very difficult indeed. Um, whereas actually, we're going to explain exactly how you do that with Catherine. So you've got your pattern, you also have your lining fabric, which is half a metre, and then half a metre of this beautiful, brand new, gorgeous tweed. That is lovely, isn't it? I love that. Plus, you're also getting your hemline handles, which are really lovely, soft faux leather handles. They are faux leather. Um, it's a what, sorry? 
a tweed c-a-d-i-z caddis caddis fabric uh, a tweed caddis fabric uh, and the soft handles are really lovely quality and you've already got those pre-punched holes to be able to stitch them on so it looks extremely professional well it is professional uh, but it looks you know like one of those bags that you've paid a lot of money for um i do like a, a, a tweed bag i think they look really really smart indeed so you have got your uh, bundle number one this is the one that Catherine's going to be working with and then we've also got the one that you saw the picture of in the um in the foliage there it is that is so nice isn't it i must say big fan of this fabric isn't it gorgeous half a meter again and it's absolutely super super soft it's kind of fleecy it's really really nice i, I wish you could um i wish you could reach in and touch this because it is super super soft so you've got half a meter of this plus half a meter of your lining this time in gray i know that Catherine's um Catherine's design was with the cream but actually i think it works really well with the gray it works better doesn't it so that's perfect uh, plus this time perfect uh this time you're getting the black faux leather handles as well which are really lovely and sturdy very professional indeed pre-punched holes plus don't forget you get your all important pattern um, plus jot down today's date and you can watch back the demonstration it's the 15th of january today already my goddaughter's sixth birthday i don't know where that time's gone um right we've got very limited availability but we do have this fabric on its own if you're here nice and early well done because this will be on and gone before we know it isn't this amazing oh yeah right let me if i lie this down i want to sort of show you the texture of it isn't it amazing eight pounds 99 so if you do want to make multiple um it's absolutely gorgeous maybe a little matching purse or a scarf to go with we've got our eye on the scarf because the reverse of it's really nice as well it's just £8.99. We'll talk about working with this fabric, though, because for anybody who's never worked with, you know, the tweeds or the... It's like, I'm not sure even what this is. It's so lovely and soft. £8.99. pence. All right, are you trying to be like Elliot? Elliot with his gold top pants. And now Paul wants pants with this as well. It would be really soft against your body. £8.99. A waterfall jacket, yes. Now's your chance to buy by the half meter, especially if you've got the um, the kit to be able to make the bag. That's gorgeous. Just so you know, we also have on the website the handles on their own, if you do want the handles. Oh, we also have, shall I say, if I say, uh, do you know, I spotted it on the, uh, the Facebook page yesterday. I had no idea that we had this in. We've got Bozal Foam by the half meter for the first time ever. Now, we'll talk to Catherine about how you can use it in this bag and how it's gonna give it really lovely structure. But it is, uh, is this the, the fusible? Yeah, this is your single-sided fusible bosal. So you can iron it in and it will give it really good structure. More so than H640, um, it is more like a foam. So, I mean, it's fantastic quality. And those of you that have worked with bosal in the past, as I know so many of you have, we've had request after request after request about getting it in by the half meter. In fact, it was only last week when I was with Alison Marion um, when we had Debbie Shaw's bag with the bosal that was pre-cut that so many people said, have you got bosal on its own? Have you got bosal by the half metre? And we were like, no. We had no idea that we had it coming in. So exciting. Um, right, so this one, by the way, comes, is it, did you say by the half metre or pre-cut? Okay, we'll find out. We'll find out whether it's by the half metre or if it comes in pr half metre pre-cuts. Bear with us on that one. I just wanted to let you know that, that it's there on the website. It's really lovely and easy to join together. So even if it does come pre-cut, easy to join together, especially as it's fusible. Okay, just very quickly before we uh, jump over to Catherine. Of course, for this bag, you want... Potentially, I say, of course, you might have another different fastening that you want to add in instead. But if you do want to put a magnetic snap, then this is your Millwood um, 18 millimetre magnetic snap. You don't need any special tools to be able to put it in. 
Uh, they're really, really nice and simple to uh, to put into your bag. We'll show them. We'll show you in a bit. We didn't add them into the bundle. If I'm being brutally honest, because we're limited. So we're wondering, you know, if anybody who's got them in their stash already, there you go. If not, then of course you can um, you can use these. We had a message from Delphine. Morning, lovely Vicky and team. Just treated myself to the early bird. Delphine, I miss you so much. Oh, she says, I would need some new colours. Just want to order for some new projects. Very excited for your new projects. And um, I must say, Delphine, your artwork is amazing. We did some confetti quilting with Delphine last week and we've now put it up on the wall because we love it that much. It's gorgeous. So thank you, Delphine. Um, also, Sally Ann Harrison. Oh, thank you. She says she likes my headband. Sorry, I've just lost my earpiece. Um, she says that she like uh, she loves my um, headband. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Talian. Right, how are you, Catherine? It's lovely to see you. I'm very well this morning. Oh, nice good, to see good. You too. It's lovely to see you. And I, I absolutely love this bag. I mean, both colourways. Are oh, absolutely, be really absolutely. Um, it's a, it's like a fleecy. It's not quite a jersey. Right. It's almost a jersey, it's but not quite. Slightly stretchy then. <sighs> it's got movement. But okay. it's not really stretchy, and once you get your interfacing on, it's absolutely fine to nice. work with. It's lovely and yeah. soft, isn't it? And it's lovely. It's yeah, it's really, like a really or a soft. To print. It was it, nice, to, nice, nice to make. It is definitely nice with dark grey as well. Yes, but they didn't send me that well. one. <laughs> Works really, really well. Yeah. And and so we want to show obviously the check because I suppose this is going to be a bit more difficult with your pattern matching. Yes. Yeah, so when. Um, so it's my colleague Hannah who actually designed this pattern. Uh, she does a lot of bag making and she's a very clever lady. And we actually designed it to do with checked and tweed fabric. So a lot of your instructions in the pattern tell you how to do that. But we've not ever done it with a checked fabric on the show before, although right. we've demoed it a couple of times. Okay. So it's quite nice to be able to do it with the how how we originally intended it. Um, I have just I bought in one of our. Um, prototypes when we were developing it all just to show you how the checks go all the way around when so you're well putting it check, together it? that's what this is what you're aiming for um, and on the bottom as well Ooh, almost matches up not quite I mean this is one, one of my early early ones testing it all out and so did you use interfacing on that did that one had interfacing and the fusible fleece um, but our later ones and uh, use the Bosal foam. So right. I'm really excited that you've got that in because yeah, it you makes it on Facebook as well. Like on the the bag on the picture is you can see looks really firm. So if you do want to use it with the foam, you need a pack of it. I think I believe they come in packs. So you need one pack okay. if you want to make it with the foam. Okay. Um, and what I show you with the fleece today, you just substitute the foam and it tells you in all in the instructions. But I'm going to show you how to do the placement and um, cut out your checks so it all matches. Okay, so I've got my lovely fabric here and you can see on the pattern pieces, you have got a horizontal and a vertical guideline. Uh, what you need to do is you need to pick, you need to pick a vertical um, line that you're going to line up with. Um, decide which bit you want in the centre of your bag, whether you want a nice, nice blue stripe or a nice green stripe. Nice. When and it is quite, it, you were saying that this um, has got a good pattern repeat. So if you're making this in the future, you might it might take up more fabric. Yeah, it totally depends on your check. Okay. Because this, this one has, is quite regular. It's right. quite a regular check. Sometimes you get that that one and that one will all be slightly different. You have to, you have to just look at them carefully. Okay. But this one's nice and regular, so it's a, it's a good first one. So choose a vertical line. And when you've lined up with that, then look at your horizontal line and adjust it until you are lined up with your horizontal one as well. Okay, now you can see that there's a bit of movement in the fabric. So I'm going to pop a pin in at the top and the bottom on each of these lines to hold it in place. I've got this, uh, the fabric singly laid out. Um, so I'm going to cut it piece by piece so I can make sure that everyone is the same. If you fold it in half and even if you pin it together and think you've got them really lined up, it may not be as lined up as you 
realise because of the movement in the fabric. So what you want to do is cut each piece separately. I'm pinning, but if you're a pattern weight person and like your pattern weights and a rotary cutter, then that's absolutely fine. You can do it that way too. Your choice. So I've got my vertical and horizontal guidelines pinned on the ones on the fabric. Now they're the ones I've chosen and they're the ones you're going to use for all your different pieces. So we'll just pop an extra pin or two in just to hold it flat. I think the, um, do, you, do you think if you are new to this completely, um, this is quite a good fabric, like you said, because it's got a really regular repeat. So Kat was saying, oh, for anybody who's unsure, why not go for the leopard print? But I think actually there's not, there's not too many difficult elements to this bag that actually it's no. worth learning this skill, isn't it? It's a, it's a big, definitely a beginner's bag making project. So if you've not worked with checks, you've not worked with the foam and the interfacings and things like that, it's a really good starting yeah. point. Um, there's some hardware in it, so there's the magnetic snaps. You can, there are instructions to put feet in it if you want to. Right. Um, uh, and obviously stitching your handles on you learn saddle stitch to do that there's instructions on how to do that so it's a really good if you've not tackled this sort of thing before it's a good starting point and if you have it just makes a really nice bag and you'll whiz it up in a <laughs> in no time at all Oh, I know. Thank you, Gerardine. I don't feel it at all. Do you know, <laughs> it's such... Paul said, I love it, how when you're pregnant, you always get called glowing and blooming and all this. And I'm like, oh, what You don't feel it, me? though, do you? <laughs> I just feel greasy and, yeah, blooming tired. <laughs> just... <laughs> but, but thank you, you Gerardine. Lovely. Thank you. I appreciate it. John Scott said differently the other day. <laughs> So you can see that first one I've cut out, I've got my nice central stripe going down the middle there. So now I need to make sure that my second one is going to line up the same. There's never quite enough space for cutting out here, is there? So um, we're lining up with the green stripe and I lined my horizontal one up with that stripe there. So do exactly the same thing. Obviously, you've got printed on your pattern how much you need of everything. So two outers, two linings and four interfacing. And there's actually a second pattern piece for your foam or fleece, right. which is cut some slightly smaller right, okay. because then you don't get really bulky seams. Oh, that's good. But we did it as a separate because often you get instructions and it'll say cut it again, but then cut a centimetre off which I always think is really annoying to have to do. It's a bit wasteful. Yeah, and, yeah. And you've got to measure it and all the rest. Yeah. So we actually put a pattern piece in for your foam pieces. So and the pattern pieces are really that. lovely quality as well, aren't they? They're, you know, they're not, they're lovely quality paper that you can reuse these again. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Make those bags. Absolutely, for all your friends. You'll be sorted for uh, presents for everybody. Yeah. And they'll think they've got something really nice. They have got something really nice. I always think tweed sort of bags look very expensive. They I don't do. know whether it's, I think of Harris tweed and, you know, really lovely luxury bags that are a similar sort of um, print and style. Actually, sometimes less is more, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, they look smart. And I think it's the handles as well. Yeah. The, the contrast handles and the faux leather um, yeah. handles look really nice. It'd be really nice to just have a little embossed sort of label, wouldn't it, to put on it? That'd be really nice. Well, you could make one, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. You could, you know, lots of people, you could very, actually very inexpensively have your own little labels made for yeah. the things that you uh, make. Yeah, good idea. So. Um, who's that? Annabelle. Annabelle says good morning to you, Catherine. Hello, Annabelle. Annabelle's a lovely lady who comes regularly oh, and she's brilliant. really got into bag making, actually. She came to dressmaking and now she's bag making. She's trying everything. So does Annabelle, has she done your Zoom workshops? Yes, I see yeah. her every Thursday. Oh, good. Which is really nice. Good, good. Okay, so then we come to lay out our side panel. Now you'll see it's slightly smaller 
than your front and back. And that's because this part folds down to make the base of your bag. So the bit that's important here is to line up your horizontal line. Um, it needs to be on the same line that you lined it up on your mm -hmm. front and back piece, your outer pieces. Okay, and then you can decide which bit of the bag you would like to be in the centre because again you've got a horizontal guideline. Ah, right. Now because I've got the sort of greeny there, I'm actually going to choose to put my blue stripe down the middle because this greeny bit will join up and that'll look quite good, won't it, I think. So just line that up again. So it's just about picking the spots and picking the same spots the same lines on each piece okay. as you do it. And then your pattern will match and it won't go wrong. And because it's such a bold print, you can really clearly see, I think this is a perfect one, I'll keep saying this, but to learn this skill, this is the absolute perfect fabric and the perfect bag to do it on. It's not too much pattern matching, uh, but it's also like lining it up on lined paper. You've got a really clear pattern to, to follow. I love pattern matching. There's something really pleasing about oh, yeah. when you've sewn it and it all looking good and it just looks, yeah, looks really good. <laughs> it's just fun to do. Very satisfying, isn't it? Oh, hi, Sue. She said, um, the glow in the dark fabric is pulling on my heartstrings. It looks brilliant. Love to all. So, oh, it's amazing, Sue. Honestly, we were having a really good play with it in the studio this morning and it's really, really clear. Um, you can see it on the videos, can't you? Still not as well as you'll see it at home. It's really, really, really great, the, the, the glow even, in the dark. Even the not, when it's not glowing, yeah, it's, it's just lovely. gorgeous colours. Well, that's what I thought. When I heard we were getting glow in the dark fabric, don't get me wrong, I love a bit of, uh, you know, Halloween style, all the stars, but um, I always think of it as more of a novelty, whereas actually this is really different. This is really classy and grown up in beautiful colours without it glowing in the dark. You haven't seen it in the dark yet, have you? No, <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> I did a bit of sort of tried to do that at home yeah. to see. <laughs> But no, I haven't tried it in the dark. Okay, so your last one, you're going to, again, line it up with the same bit. I mean, obviously, okay. there is a little bit. You always get this with pattern matching. You will get a bit of wastage. Right. Um, but you can save these scraps and make little purses. And yeah, little purses. Little purse little to pockets. go with it. Um, actually, checked Tweedy patchwork. Oh, That's yeah. That's nice. Oh, yeah. I must so say. there's all little sorts wallets. you can do with it. Great idea. Vivian Westwood do really lovely like luggage tags and, and you know the tweed sort of uh, wallets are really expensive aren't they? They are. You've got I mean leftover bits this pattern doesn't have any pockets or anything but if you were someone who wanted to add a pocket you've got spare to do that with. Okay. Hi Louisa. Sorry, I'm new to Sewing Street. What did you say that you needed to make the bag? Right, so, um, the bag, what, sorry, firm. So, you need your interfacing, which we will talk through with Catherine um, in a moment. We've got options, you see. We've got options. We'll talk <laughs> you through. Bozal, HX40, um, there's different interfacings to make it nice and structured. The animal print that's here, um, you can see it's still got structure, um, that's with H640. If you want it even more structured, then you could go with a foam, which we'll talk through. If I'd realised you were going to have the foam, I'd have bought the, my my foam one in to show you. But yeah, I didn't, didn't realise, didn't see it till last night. I'm so night. pleased that you mentioned this morning that you saw it on the Facebook, because I, I, it, you know when you go to bed at night and you think, right, I've got to do that in the morning, I've got to do that, I've got to remember that, and I totally forgot. Okay, so we've got, you can see, that it's all going to start ah. as you put things together to join together. Nice. Right, we're going to go on. Now, I have pre-cut all my, yeah, it's over here, interfacing and everything like that. But I was going to go through just the ironing bit because um, it's not always, there we go, I found the snaps now. Um, <laughs> it's not always the easiest thing to get attached. So. It might seem like a really basic thing, but I'm going to go through the way that the pattern tells you to do it and yeah. uh, we advise so that you get it to work. Um, now, you need a pressing cloth. This is just a bit of an old piece of panel cotton that I use as yeah. my, my pressing cloth. 
but what we suggest is that that goes on your ironing board okay and is that to protect your ironing board so you don't get glue on yes i frequently get glue <laughs> on my ironing board on the iron because i'm a bit lazy and i don't always do it the way i should but <laughs> Today you're going to do it the way you should. I'm going to try and do it properly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you're interfacing. It's a medium weight interfacing, and okay. I believe does it come in? Does it come in your kit or is it sense? Uh, um, so, separate. do you need do you need the hemline interfacing yes. as well as your 8640 then? Yes, it's got okay. both. Yeah. So this is your medium weight. You get a meter, which is plenty, isn't it? Oh, heaps, heaps. All the little scraps as well, I've Keep. saved up because you can use them to reinforce your snaps and oh, things like that. Perfect. Yeah. So I've put my piece of interfacing with the sticky side up. You can tell it's sticky because it's slightly shiny. Look carefully because there's nothing worse. Then I'm going to pop my little bit of lining on the top. And then I'm going to put my other bit of my pressing over oh, the top. That's a good idea. And then we're going to press and you can hold it in place for about 10 seconds or so because it really needs to get hot okay. to really fuse because so often you can do interfacing and it will seem like you're ironing and ironing and it doesn't always stick right but actually hold it in place for a little while okay like this and then you'll find it does oh that's a good idea yeah i always find i get impatient and try and do it well and then when we are in clothes we are like this don't we and yeah. you kind of keep it moving but with this you need to I like how you iron with your body yeah. as well just do a big <laughs> sway dance. do you know what I don't do much ironing of my no. clothes <laughs> <laughs> my husband will tell you he mainly does it oh that's good of him well do you know what it's his own fault he doesn't think I do it well enough so I don't do it <laughs> no that is good Okay. I have to try that. So you can see then that's that's attached and it's all nice and ready. I'm going to do one of the tweed ones because I'll show you how to put the because we've got to do, put both interfacing and foam on. So interfacing. I've done that the wrong way around. We'll do the interfacing first, then we'll put the foam on the top. Now there is a right and a wrong side to this. Oh, is check. there? If you look, one side is slightly fluffier. Okay. Than the other side. Right, so if you which look way, at it carefully. You think the fluffy side is the is the wrong right, side. The right wrong side. Wrong side. I do. But do you know what? As long as you choose the one you like and stick to it mm -hmm. and are consistent, then you can have it whichever way around you like. If you like the slightly fluffy side on the right side, that's okay. Mm, I like the fluffy side. What do you think? Nice. Yeah, it is very sort of country bumpkin style, isn't it? I do love that. I do love this. Um, well, we're all going tweet. on lots of lots of walks. walks, aren't we? Lots of walks, and so uh, yeah. yeah. And you do still have to carry your keys and your phone, even if yeah, you don't need absolutely. your purse because you're not going anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You just have your keys and your purse and your your flask and your <laughs> your binoculars. Been enough. <laughs> we're going for I a don't proper take country my binoculars. walk, <laughs> looking at the birds. <laughs> That was, could you tell that that was Paul's idea? <laughs> Is he a bit of a twitcher? <laughs> okay, all right. And then our foam, if I show you. Again, your foam, this is the fusible foam. Okay. It's got a slightly rough side. Yeah. That's your sticky side. Okay. So that you get it the right way round. There's a fluffy side on the other one, which is nice and fleecy, isn't yes. it? Yes. Lovely and soft. Now you can see, as I've cut it out, you can see it is slightly smaller than the pattern pieces. Pat, sorry, we haven't got the pattern on its own today. Only available in bundles and they're limited. It's beautiful fabrics. I absolutely love it though. Um, yeah, we, sorry, don't have the, uh, the pattern on its own. Thanks for asking though, Pat. <laughs> Thanks for messaging. Come message us. But again, this you want to this this sometimes doesn't always want to stick as well as you feel it mm. you know, feel it should, but just give it, you know, a little bit of time. This is the H640, by the way. It's yeah. £9.99 again for a whole metre. So if you decide you want to use the Bosal foam, it's, it's literally exactly the same process okay. as I'm doing for the fleece. 
it's just firmer. And when you start to stitch the bag together, if it hasn't totally attached in every place, it usually catches in as you sit, as you sew it. And it, they're, they're both lovely to sew, just because the bozal is more of a foam, don't be put off by that. It's no, it's still not, really it's not to difficult sew. to sew, not at all. Yeah. It's great stuff. If, nice. you if you haven't had a go, have a go. It's really yeah. good. Just opens up your possibilities to so many different projects then that you can do. I always think with different sort of storage tubs and things that you want to keep really structured, a lot of people are sort of scared of using different interfacings, but definitely have a go with Bozal if you haven't already. And today is the first day that we've had it in by the half metre. So really, really exciting. We have not sold it on its own before. Um, who's this, sorry? Lala, hello! Absolutely, let me show you the bag. So this is the bag that's being made. Um, absolutely love the animal print option. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And, and this time, though, just so you know, we've changed the kit slightly. So you still get the black handles and you still get the, uh, the same print, but your lining fabric is grey, which works better, I think. It, it does. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put a side one together and then I'm going to show you how, when you start to construct it, <laughs> hopefully, fingers crossed, it's, it'll, it'll match up. Leopard, leopard print never goes out of fashion. Animal print, does well, it? Well, I have got I a leopard think. headband on today, haven't I? Um, it is, uh, it's something that I think sort of came into fashion and we thought, oh, it's only going to be around for this, you know, for this season. And it's just been there. Well, it was in fashion, obviously, a long time ago. It's been in fashion a long time. For quite time. a few years, it was a bit naff, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it then, yeah. And, and now you can't go wrong with it. Oh, no, now. No. Gorgeous. In fact, I think we're all wearing animal print today, aren't we? Where, what are you wearing, Kat? Tops animal print. <laughs> Paul's got his leopard print socks on. Everybody. Paul's okay. back, by the way. He keeps saying, please, will you tell everybody that I'm back? It's we said <laughs> you haven't been. He says I haven't had messages. Why has nobody found me a girlfriend yet? Um, Paul, you haven't. How many days have you been gone? He's been gone about four days. Oh, really? <laughs> Six days. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm going to start putting the pieces together so you can see how they'll start to match. Oh, nice. <laughs> so just make sure that they're lining up those horizontal lines. I'm using the bag clips because they're really helpful with a bag. Oh, the clips are brilliant, aren't they? Yes, very useful. they are. Very useful. Now, you've got about 15 minutes left, Catherine. Okay. Um, with this, when you go down the side, you're going to stop. I'm just trying to remember the exact measurement. I can't remember. <laughs> it's in the pattern. <laughs> just above, it's in the pattern, just above the, um, the end here, because when we come to, to make our box corners, the square corners at the bottom, that helps you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put my quilt clip there just to remind me to stop because I'm very good at just, you know, blithely carrying on. Um, it's a one centimetre seam allowance. Okay. Which, so that's usually the edge of your machine foot, which is handy. Uh, you can make, if it's thick, starting to feel thick, you can make your uh, stitch slightly longer okay. and it'll just cope with those fabrics a bit better. What have you gone up to? I've just popped it up to about 2.6. Oh, okay. Not too big. Um, you can put a walking foot on if you want to, but I have to say, I didn't when I made that one. I don't think you need it. Um, probably if you're going to use the foam, I would do. As you start to construct it, it gets kind of thicker mm -hmm. and thicker, so the foam is useful. Sorry, I've only just got all your messages. Thank you on Facebook. Morning, Vicky and Catherine. You're looking well, Vicky. Thank you. She says, how long have you got? Not long to go. Okay, so <laughs> we can see... But that is beautifully matched across there. Oh, nice. Okay. So our cutting out worked. Now, I was going to quickly show you just how to put in the magnetic clips. Would you bag. like me yes, to please, do that yes, for please. you? Because obviously you're not going special. to get the whole bag done. But I have demoed this bag in different stages 
before. Um, so if we Which type if you in, Google, yeah, if, <laughs> if you Google it, it you'll find it. Um, more of the, I've done more of the construction before. So um, also talks about you can put feet on it if you want. If you've got those in your uh, in your stash, we haven't got any on the show. But if you've got any of the little feet, then of course you can put them on. <laughs> yes, you can hear Paul, can't you? He says he's got little feet. If you've got any of the nice. Um, yeah, little feet. I can't think of another way of saying it now. Yeah, magnet, but not not magnetic feet. No, no back feet. They're yeah. called back feet. Yes. Right. I'm just going to really quickly just pop that interfacing on to show. Hi, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Um, are, are you talking about Catherine's workshops? Right. So, how can anybody join your Zoom Ooh. workshops? Oh, well, a lady just messaged in. Oh, that Who's would that, be sorry? lovely. I love to meet new people. Jackie. Jackie. Um, right, Jackie. If you go to my website, which is Leicestershire Craft Centre. .co.uk, you will find on there a big calendar that tells you all the different things that are coming up and you can book them there. Oh, brilliant. So there's things on there for January at the moment. I'm going a little bit month by month at the <laughs> moment because who knows what's happening. But I am going to put some more Zoom ones on in February. And are you doing those once a week? Um, well, I'm doing various things. I've got some regular ones. We yeah. have um, regular people come every week. We've just started a 10-week patchwork one, which oh, is great. lovely. Uh, and then I've got some one-off ones. Yeah. Um, so some are things where you provide your own materials. Some are things where I send you a kit out. Oh, great. And you have all the materials. And then I, you know, I instruct you to do it. And we, we have a cup of tea and a chat. And oh, it's, it's lovely. Do you know what? It's, it's nice really nice, actually. Day. Really fun, yeah. Yeah, I think it's so <laughs> important. It's been such a lifeline to so many people, hasn't it? Being able to do, yes. you know, like you say, even just having an, a nice chat with like-minded people, having a cup of tea and... And yeah. so on along, it's lovely. So yes. yeah, definitely, Jackie, have a look on, on Catherine's website. Okay, so to mark up where your magnetic clips are going to go, if you use your paper pattern, you can mark where the centre of your lining is. And then you want to measure down. It's one and a half inches or four centimetres. I'm going to have to use the one on my ironing board because I haven't had a little ruler and I haven't brought it out. Oh, no, I know, I'll use one of these. I thought I'd got everything to hand, and there's always one thing, isn't there? Always. Okay, so I can just measure down one and a half inches. So that's where my snap's going to go. When you open up your little snap, you so have... So you don't need any tools to do this, do you? Nothing, nothing special. That's good. No, you can use this little backing bit if you pop that where you've done your central marking, mm -hmm. use whatever marking tool you like. I finally went and got myself one of the friction pens. I'm very excited. Got got it the <laughs> other day. And you oh, well done. I know the last time I saw you, you said you hadn't used you hadn't. No, I've been meaning to get one for ages, and I finally finally bought one from oh, you. Good. Yes. Um, mark on the little um, sort of dashes through those holes, and then that's where you're going to cut through. Now, I usually use an unpicker, and I've not got that out either. I'm going to use a very small pair Is of scissors. Is there one just literally there to the side of you? It's got a big magnifier glass on it, I'm sure. Oh, you took that away. That's uh, all right. I'm going to use a very small, sharp yeah. pair so of scissors, which will work just your, as well. You snip smaller rather than larger, aren't you? Absolutely, yes. Because you can always go bigger, but you don't want to make it too big. No. So just a very little snip there. Okay. Then you're going to push the prongs of your snap through. I've been so careful, I haven't cut it big enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Is this the part that you said you need to um, interface? Now, what you can do is, when you've got this through, you're going to pop that on, press the little prongs down. Now, you, when you open and close your bag, you don't want it to you get a lot of strain on it and you okay. don't want it to come apart so you can get your extra little bits of interfacing and cut yourself a little square you know if you if you do a if you do quite a lot of bag making it's handy to keep all these little bits for, for it. you don't yeah. want to be cutting into a big sheet every time and then this can go over the top and you can just press that on and it's just going to reinforce it and make it a little bit stronger
this is an added extra as well. You don't, I don't suppose you have to have a magnetic snap if you just want you to. You don't have to. Open. No, you don't. But do. it's quite quite nice to, isn't it? I think yeah. to have something. So on that side, you can see lovely and neat and tidy. Great. Do exactly the same on the other piece with the opposite opposite bit. They're male and female, aren't they? Yeah. That's it. We'll pop it like that for now so I don't lose it. Okay. Right, I'm going to carry on just popping a bit together in the last few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because you're just going to carry on with the construction of your bag. Your lining goes together in exactly the same way as your outer. Okay. And then you very simply bag it out in the usual way mm -hmm. around the top and then pull it through, pull it through the lining. In the instructions, it tells you to stitch your handles on before you do all your bagging out. Now, actually, when I made this one, I actually stitched them on right at the end because in your handle pack, it has some little backing pieces. Oh, yeah. And so I've not, not like used them before. Right. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have it. I'm just going to see what they're like and do it a little bit differently and make them a bit of a feature. So on this one. Yeah, would you be able to show us? So because I think with the prim ones <laughs> I've before, got three of them on, the dog ate one. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I, with the prim ones, you don't have a backing piece. So therefore, you see all your stitches. Yes. So with these, you go. don't, do so you? So there, when I stitched oh, them on, nice. I stitched those at, on at the same time so that it actually made it a little bit of a feature yeah so you can do it either way so you can so, do it before you do so you, you do can either put it on when the instructions tell you which is before you construct the lining with the outer oh, okay or you can wait and put it on at the end it's up to you I like it when you can change things yeah, up a bit absolutely. if you want to. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And they can colour coordinated. So with the, the, the ones that, that Catherine's working with, they're brown. And with the leopard print, the animal print, they're, uh, they're black. So it, it's really lovely. If you do want the handles on their own, by the way, they are on the website. So if you are thinking for other bags, it's nice and handy, isn't it? To be able to have a good Well, it is strap. because if you bought this and you've got your pattern and then yeah. you think, oh, I'm going to make another one. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Got your handles already, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, perfect. Absolutely. They're the brown ones, by the way, £8.99. Uh, we do also have them in black. Um, we'll put those in in a moment. What are you clipping together now? So I'm now putting the other, either front or back, whichever it turns out to be, um, with the side panel. So I'm continuing round to to match those horizontal stripes. So I'm going to do my second side seam like so. Just so you know, the leopard print, loads of you have got it in your basket. Don't let that one pass you by. I know that we're working with the check, but that is gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. 34 99 you get half a metre of your leopard, half a metre of your grey. You also get your uh, your straps and you get your pattern. Is there, there isn't any sort of direction or you don't need to worry at all about the pattern matching with that one, do you? With the leopard print, no. Okay. No. You can just cut it out. And does it whiz have, it together. Does it have a nap? Does it have like a, a directional pile? It does actually. Pile? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just so you me. want to make sure when you do that one that you have got it going downwards. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because there's otherwise nothing it worse than stroking something and it being the wrong oh way. Oh gosh, is there? I must say, our uh, my mum's little dog. If anyone strokes the back of, like, it's just not nice. You just stroke it like this. Oh, she gets really annoyed if you stroke her the wrong way. <laughs> so you can see, you can see there how nicely that is matching together. So it's going to go all the way around. Nice. Oh, just so you know, update on the bozo. Yes, it is joined up. So it's by the half meter as opposed to half a meter pre-cut. It is cut to order. So if you want a meter. If you order two units, it will come continuous. It will be cut off a massive bozal bolt. I'd get so, a meter. There you go. Get a meter. Yeah, You've got plenty there. That's it, absolutely. I, I believe there's different types on the website as well. So it isn't just the one that we were talking about. We were talking about the single sided fusible, but there's actually two other 
typed on the web. Um, it's 1.5 metres wide. Oh, wow, 150 it's wide. Really nice and wide. Nice and wide. Brilliant. You can get double sided, single sided, or sewing. They're all on the They're, website. Yeah. Um, this particular pattern, we use the single sided. Perfect. Thank you, if Catherine. You're looking for this one. You wouldn't want to sew it in because you'd see it. Yeah. We've literally got about three minutes with you, Catherine. Okie dokie. Obviously, I'm not going to finish this one today. No, like you <laughs> say, though, you, we have seen this bag a couple of times. So have a look. It's worth having a look on YouTube and, uh, and seeing all the different videos. But the pattern's really clear anyway. You won't have any problems. I will just quickly do this side seam then. I'll have to see if I can uh, sew a bit more in the break for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice chill as well, though, because you're here all three hours with me, aren't you? Well, that's true. But do you know what? I do chill by sewing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's actually quite nice and relaxing. Not homeschooling today, so it's nice and relaxed. <laughs> my Although you say your children are very good at Well, they're a little bit older and they're, they're very good. They get, them, they get themselves sorted and they just appear at regular times for food. <laughs> so as long as I've got a plentiful supply of biscuits, we're, we're pretty much all right. And sympathy yeah. for when it's been boring. I go, how's your, they appear, how's your morning? Oh, really boring. As long as I, I'm, I've got a sympathetic ear, we're all right. <laughs> we get through the day. <laughs> so difficult. It's hard it? for a lot of, uh, yeah. lot of people. So I've got, I've got time to whiz this together so yeah, you can see the absolutely. thing. Absolutely, so we can see all the patterns matching. Yeah. Like you say, so the lining is exactly the same. Um, it, it is exactly the same construction again. Yes, it is. So obviously that will go together even faster because you haven't got to match anything on that. But it's, it's quite, you know, if you've not done pattern matching before, it's quite easy to see those stripes and just mm. just match them up. Catherine's using, by the way, the 560. Um, sorry, I know we've had a couple of messages this morning. The reason you can't find the 570 is it's completely sold out now. The 570A completely sold out yesterday, as predicted. The 560, still absolutely brilliant, because it's got the thread cutter, hasn't it? Yeah, I always ask for the thread cutter. <laughs> One with a thread cutter. It is a game changer, really, isn't it? I think it's one of those things that you don't realise how much you rely on and use until you know, you're without it. Particularly, particularly if you're a patch worker. Yeah, yes, really handy. Okay. Oh, Plus you save thread. Nice. So if we can see it's going all the way around really. Oh, that's perfect, Quite isn't it? nicely, yes. Absolutely perfect, amazing. Phew. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Thank you ever so much. That's okay, absolute pleasure. Uh, no, really good to be able to see how to do the uh, the pattern matching because that's a, a great skill to have, not just for bag making, but dress making and all sorts, isn't it? So much fun. Yeah, it is. If you go onto YouTube, if you type in Tweed Bag on our Sewing Street YouTube channel, uh, you'll be able to find the other demos that Catherine's done of this bag in the past. So brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. We'll see you in an hour. See you in a bit. Oh, glow in the dark fabric is already flying out, just so you know. Um, <laughs> I, we'd said to Catherine this morning, we're probably going to spend, you know, a good 25 minutes, half an hour just talking through all the fabrics since the first time I've seen it. There's a good chance that we won't have any fabric to talk about, but we'll be able to do some demo. Half the stock of the Mega Bundle's gone, half the stock of the panels have gone, way over half the, the, uh, the stock of the, uh, the panel behind me has gone. Uh, look, can I just show you, for anybody who's just tuning in, don't miss this. We're launching it in just over an hour with Catherine. And it glows in the dark. Look, it's amazing. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, we, of course, um, we have, of course, got uh, the half metre fabrics as well, one of which has already sold out completely. The glow in the dark fabric is gorgeous and it really, really does glow in the dark. Very difficult to show you on camera but we'll talk with Catherine about how to do the cushion next to me, um, the, the, the patchwork quilt behind Catherine. We're going to just talk through bits and bobs. Now, I'll recap the kits and then we'll just quickly show you. Uh, we've got another pattern which we want to show you. So, the tweed, which is the one that Catherine's been working with, extremely popular indeed. 
you have half a metre of your tweed, which is extra wide. You also have half a metre of your lining fabric and you have your beautiful soft faux leather handles with your pre-punched holes and the backing pieces as well. Uh, it's going to look really smart, isn't it? Really, really smart. And I think now that we've seen the demonstration on the pattern matching, you can literally follow that step by step. You've got plenty of fabric here to be able to do the bag and pattern match. Whereas normally we'd say you probably need a bit more fabric. Um, so that's the tweed option. This one, loads of you have got it in your basket. Please do check out as soon as you can. You get the pattern. This is what it looks like finished. It's so beautifully soft. Um, honestly, it's, it's gorgeous. And you'll have, um, of course, bits of fabric left over, which keep, 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 keep. Even, you know, like for little pockets and things like that. I love it. Or if you wanted to add a little pocket onto it, you always could. Love a little hack. Um, we sold out on this fabric by the half metre. It's brand new in today, so the only way of getting it is in the kit. Not only do you get half a metre, you also get half a metre of your charcoal lining. You have your black faux leather handles and you've got your pattern all for 34.99. Uh, now, the H640, by the way, H640 is your fusible fleece, which is the one that Catherine was using. It still gives it lovely structure, really easy to sew with. Um, I think I've got it here. Here we go. Uh, it comes in a one metre piece. So unlike the Bozal, this doesn't come joined up. It comes as a one metre piece, but you can sew it together. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're not going to be using this to wad, uh, using it as wadding for quilts, but it's essential for things. <laughs> it's really good for bags. It's really good for cushion fronts. It's really good for, for lots of different projects. So a metre piece, <laughs> a metre piece is plenty. 9.99, Paul's laughing at me saying, you're not going to need it to wad. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new that's the new technical term obviously um, and it is fusible as well the bozal i haven't got it here but i have to mention it because yesterday it arrived in on the website um, there's loads of you checking out of it there's single-sided there's double-sided and there's sewing um, the one that you'll need for this bag is the single-sided which is the graphics now this is by the half meter as well and it's amazing quality bozal foam um, it's very wide, it's 150 centimetres wide, so really nice and wide as well. Um, definitely worth stocking up on that one, have a go, you can use it with this bag. Uh, right, we also have apron, the linen apron pattern. Now, Catherine, this is another one from you, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous, and in fact, we've got it on um, the mannequin pool behind behind me actually there you go move me out of the way um it's lovely isn't it you say you always wear this one to your shows this one you? i wear this one a lot yes yes a lot of people might have seen me in that and it's got a nice cross back as it's well it's got a nice cross back and it's um it's got quite a, a big cross over your bottom oh yeah you can, can spin I, can I spin please do yeah some of the, some of these aprons are curved oh yes it does spin i didn't want to this 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 fits me so i have to say this model is a little bit bigger, bigger. than me because it's got square edges, when you wear it in your size, it tends to cover your bottom really well. Oh, that's well. good. So on me, it comes right round. Oh, that's and good. And really keeps, keeps me clean. I'm one of those people who does that. So it doesn't need to necessarily be for um, for crafting. You can wear that out. It's one of those things. Oh, you're doing crafting, then you can just yeah. wear it out because yeah. you're not you're not showing your bottom. I wear, I wear it with leggings underneath, and it's just like, and then people go, oh, I like dress. And I go, oh, it's an apron. Amazing. <laughs> uh, size is 8 to 22. And of course, uh, you have all of your instructions instructions and your pattern pieces, beginner skill levels and uh, of course we've done this before haven't we on air so we can watch it back on YouTube as well if you do want to. Uh, just £15 for your pattern. Uh, okay very very quickly as I know that we've got to go to a break, the early bird today almost sold out. Look at the colours, our Delphine Brooks, she says that she's bought this for projects in the future. Very exciting, isn't it? Thing is, if Delphine comes in and she says these are the threads that she's used for a certain project that she's doing, um, can you imagine the chaos that we'll have? Do you know the project she's talking about? I know. Is it, this, is it the spring one? She's told me as well, yeah. Kat gets very jealous that me and you talk, Delphine. <laughs> uh, so you've got your oranges, you've got your greens, you've got your blues, you've got white, you've got all of your pinks into reds, you've also got your bobbin clips, 10 bobbin clips as well, 100 metres on each. Value for money without the bobbin clips is £1.29. I mean, that is incredible per spool. 
if you've already bought the bag, you've got some bosal, if you've got your glow-in-the-dark fabric, you're only paying one postage and packaging, so it's definitely worth making the most of it, especially as earlier on, had a bit of a look online, we found this for 19.99, 20 pounds, so it's a good saving on that one. All I could recommend today, I, I know that I'm gonna have people saying, I've missed it already, I've missed it, I've missed out, I've missed out. Please have a look on the website because we've got so many amazing products in today that I think we're gonna have lots of sellouts. Click watch live on the web, scroll down. In fact, I'll show you. If you're on our website, if you click watch live and scroll down, you'll see on today's show deals or on pre-order, you'll see all of the products that are coming up throughout the show. Everything from the show is on there. Um, all the one minute of madness, woo woo, coming up next. And then also keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. There's your glow in the dark fabric. Go for it. Make the most of it whilst you can and we'll be talking about it at 10 o'clock with Catherine. This one, I think there's only half a metre left. That is amazing. Love it. Mega bundle, really limited now as well. You are getting half a metre for free as well. We weren't supposed to have that, but we asked for it just before the uh, the show. You can thank Kat for that. Um, right, early bird is about to sell out. Over allocated if you want one. Check out now. We're going to be back with our one metre madness. Don't go anywhere. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8 a.m bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433.
welcome back, welcome back. Ah, oh, it's so lovely, I must say, to have Paul back in my ear. It's been months and months. He's like, right, it's one night only. This is it, one show only. He's, he's every time I keep saying he's back already, he's like, I'm not back. I'm not back. It's just today, just today. So send in your messages for Paul because he's, um, he's, yeah. <laughs> He um, is still really wanting a girlfriend and saying, why have you not found him one? Um, Charlene, trying to find the glow in the dark fabric, can't find it. Ah, oh, oh no, oh no. She says, um, did you see, did you hear the reflection, the change in my voice? She said, due to, uh, I'm sleep deprived due to a five month old teething baby. Oh, oh, I hope you're all right. I hope you're all right. I'm not looking forward to sleep deprivation. If you want to have a look where our pre-orders are, right, Charlene, are you ready? This is for you. So if you go to www.sewingstreet.com, click on Watch Live, which is underneath the screen there, and then you're scrolling down. Can you see on the right-hand side, if you've got your cursor over that pre-order section, which wasn't highlighted, if you highlight it and then scroll right down, I mean, it's quite far down, Charlene. It's these ones. So let your light shine, they're called, and they are all the glow in the dark fabrics. That looks like fireworks, doesn't it? Are they like the um, dandelion, dandelions? Dandelions. Um, there's so many beautiful, oh yeah, dandelions. There are so many beautiful fabrics, panels, we've got all sorts. I love that one as well. That's really nice, isn't it? And when I know that we, when, when I found, oh, it's sold out. That one's sold out. Do you know there's a lot of people, oh, there's a mega bundle as well with half a metre for free if you want the whole shebang. When I heard that we were getting glow in the dark fabric, I was so excited. And I thought it was probably going to be more of, now don't get me wrong, I don't mean this in a, I love the more sort of novelty fabrics, but do you know what I mean by that? Um, these are actually really, really beautiful and they look amazing in the light as well as glowing in the dark. They're so cool. So, so cool. Okay, right, it's one meter madness. So what shall we start with our cat? I want to do these first. I want to do these because I've not seen this and it's absolutely beautiful. Right, they are absolutely gorgeous. So one meter madness. Cat is very, very good at teaming fabrics together. And we've learnt that, haven't we? With all of her lovely bundles that sell out all the time. These are a great combo. And I like that you haven't just mixed it with a solid cat. I know you've really thought, you know, thought, thought it through of being able to put it with different textures. Because you've got more of a solid background on here, I think it's really nice to mix it in with um, the more sort of textured print. Um, this one's called Shadows. It's really, really lovely. And this is William Morris. It is the first time that I've seen this collection. It's absolutely beautiful. When did this launch then? Because Catherine spotted it. She says, I've got that, I got that, I got that when it, when it launched. Um, so it's 112 wide, it's quilting weight cotton, and it is beautiful. Look at the lemon trees. Oh, I love that. 12 pounds and 99 pence. Pauline said, you guys keep surprising us with all these fantastic things. She says, I wish I had a never ending budget. I've just seen the glow in the dark fabric. Uh, she says, I love that one, it's so me. Pauline, oh my word, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oops, glow in the dark fell in my basket. That's um, from Michelle. Oh, your daughter's single. We can, we can make this happen. We can, um, we can, I don't know, how, how do we do this? And obviously we're in COVID at the moment, so as soon as the pandemic is over, then we can sort of sort this out, Michelle. This would be good. <laughs> he, um, he gets good stuff discount as well, Michelle. <laughs> no, he doesn't work here anymore. It doesn't work here anymore. The lemon tree is beautiful. And then the shadow fabric together, they are gorgeous. I mean, what would you make with this? Even a beautiful bag, you know, uh, whether it be a small sort of wash bag, a tote bag for shopping would be gorgeous. Even a little cushion for conservatory or even outside. This is lovely. Oh, and Kat's new uh, roof terrace. It's not a house yet, but it is lovely. I really hope you get it. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. And I love the colours, that golden 
lemon is beautiful. And of course, you've got such great quality when you're talking about Morris & Co and William Morris, you absolutely can't go wrong. We're at just £12.99. Uh, so don't blame me. She says, I've just got to done it. The glow in the, uh, glow in the, glow in the dark fabric is in my basket and checked out. It's your fault. She says, I'm blaming you. <laughs> I love that Sue always calls me mum now. <laughs> <laughs> Silly funny. <laughs> right, shall we do? Oh, which one? This one? Oh, yes, right. In fact, let's do this one. This is Liberty. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Right, this is called Feather Dance. The first time it came to air with John Scott, it completely sold out. Um, isn't this gorgeous? This was Kat's favourite one as well, wasn't it, Kat? We do think she's a bit of a trendsetter. She says, I've put together as much as I can. Now, the perfect combination, because this lovely burnt orange is identical to your paprika solid that we stock. So you get half a metre of your Liberty and half a metre of our paprika um, solid. Gosh, I love this. Let's open it up. Remember, half a metre is two fat quarters. You've got a lot a fabric there, a lot of Liberty fabric, plus you're getting half a metre of your solid as well. A metre of fabric goes a long way. And this is a bit like um, a, a Paisley style print really, isn't it? A Liberty Paisley. Love that. It's one metre madness, Paul. Just £10.49. It's not very often that we do Liberty bundles with a budget of £10.50. That is really good, isn't it? Such beautiful value, such beautiful quality and amazing value. And there's a lot that you're going to be able to make with, um, with a metre of fabric. If you're thinking of doing a summery version of Ka Catherine's bag, if you've already got the pattern, then remember all you need is half a metre of each fabric. So you could do a Liberty bag, couldn't you? Just £10.49. Um, it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I think we are starting to think more about spring and summer, aren't we now? Fed up of the, the cold weather. I know up in um, Scotland and Yorkshire, everybody's, I saw on Je Jenny McCreary's Instagram yesterday, the snow, everywhere's snowing. I know, I'm like, no, I'm done with this now. I'm done with this cold, yeah cold snow. We had lots of messages yesterday from people up in Durham and Yorkshire saying it was really snowy. Um, but this is a great combo. Um, just so you know, it's about to sell out. Flown into baskets, about to sell out. If you are buying multiples, they do come pre-cut. Now, can I do, I've got another one which I really, really like, which I think is going to be Paul's favourite. This is so cool. It's called um, Heritage Passion. I've never ever seen this before. I'm going to uh, open this right out because this is amazing. <gasps> oh, look at this. Am I upside down? I think it's multi, multi, multi directional. Uh, it's not just one craft. I mean, we've got sewing machines on here, which is so cool. You've got hair brushes. Look, you've got like a stamp, like a postage stamp. Binoculars. Look at this. Best black silk thread, your comb, your little scissors. This is great, isn't it? And they're really nice big scales. You could always fussy cut these. Look at that nice comb, the detail. Now, we haven't just put it with, we haven't just, I know, I was wondering that. I don't know what it is. Let me spin it round and have a look. Do you know on the finger, the, um, the the pointy finger, what is it that he's got hanging? <laughs> it's a spider with like a bow with two two little um, cherubs. <laughs> we don't really know what that is. <laughs> That's funny. Right, so we've also put it with... <laughs> We've also put it with what looks like a plain white, but is it? No, of course it's not. Kat um, has been, of course, putting together some really beautiful bundles. This one is with a spot. Can you sh show this, Paul? <laughs> 
Can you show it clearer, please, Paul? Right, because it's not, it's not a, it's not a solid. It's got spots. Let me see if the camera can pick it up. If I unfold it, it might be a bit easier. Ah, there you go. Perfect. So it's actually a spot, which is lovely, isn't it? You're white on white. Very difficult to show on camera, but you can see it at home really clearly. Um, just makes it a bit more interesting. Instead of just using a solid white, to have that spot detail is lovely. Um, how gorgeous is that? A cushion, yes, 100%. Oh, Charlene, found the glow in the dark. Oh, no! She said it was sold out when she came back. Oh, I'm so sorry. It is still available in the Mega Bundle, the one that you wanted. I'm so sorry. They're all going very quickly. We knew this would happen. Kat's saying, I didn't know this would happen. She really doesn't want anyone to miss out. I knew it would happen when I saw yesterday that we had all these. I was like, this is not going to, this is not going to last. Oh, um, who's this? Anne has said, Paul, good to have you here. Back for a shift. Yes, he's just back for one day, one day. We can't get used to, uh, we can't get too used to it in being back. <laughs> it's only been gone for six days. We told you, it will come back, it will come back. Um, right, uh, is there any particular that you want to do next? Oh, I'm going to go for these, please, because this is very me, home, de this is very sort of home decor. Libs Elliot is a really great, um, look at this, a really great quilt designer, which we have only just recently launched her fabric collection. They are absolutely lovely. This one, you've done a really good job again matching the colours. So you've got all of these sort of geometric prints with lines in. I mean, they're really, really gorgeous. Have a look at, at Libs Elliot on Pinterest and on, on social media and things because there's lots of different inspiration. We're less than £10 for designer fabric, remember. Designer fabric and an extra half a metre of your solid. What colour is this that you've put it with, Kat? It's called Silver Mink. It's really nice, isn't it? And look at all of the different patterns on this. £9.99. Oh, isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's really sort of Aztec. Um, I like the, the... Yeah, I absolutely love it. Even if you were to do this with animal for toy making, you could do a beautiful sort of giraffe with this, couldn't you? Especially with that geometric print. Looks great, doesn't it? Here we go. Here we go. Oops, the glow in the dark fabric fell in my uh, my basket. Me too, couldn't resist, Maureen said. <gasps> Oh, uh, it is all on the website. If you can't find it, please click watch live, pre-order underneath. You'll see all of the let the light shine fabric. Let it shine, let it shine. What if you love the combos? Oh no, the snow has now frozen and we have freezing frog. A frog? <laughs> freezing fog. Right, so... Is this where you have like glitter in the air because it's all frozen in the air? It was beautiful. Yeah, I felt like I was the only person, me and Alison Marion were the only people that saw this. And did you see it? Kat said, yeah, I saw it as well. It was just amazing. It was like glitter in the air. And I thought maybe that is frozen frog. <laughs> frozen frog. Maybe that's what it is. Oh. <laughs> but the Libs Elliot collection was very popular, wasn't it? Very, very popular. Half a metre of your Libs Elliot and half a metre of your silver mink. This is very, very next to home, John Lewis, isn't it? It's very on trend as well with, um, with all your home decor, isn't it? Oh, uh, because Paul loves his walking at the moment. How are your knees? Because you couldn't walk for ages, could you? My gosh. Um, but he's, yeah, doing, uh, if you follow him on Instagram, you've seen all of the lovely photographs. Um, just £9, 49 pence for your metre bundle. We also have, we've still got more designer fabrics, just so you know. 
Yeah, this one I've not seen before. Now, right, we didn't launch this. This is the Spirit to Create Dina Designs. It's absolutely beautiful. The sort of zesty lime green, perfect for spring. That is lovely, isn't it? In fact, you know what I'm thinking with this one? English paste, if you've done uh, English paper piecing before where you use the mirror technique to get the symmetry, this would be ideal for that, absolutely ideal for that EPP technique. Oh, speaking of which, we had a look on the, uh, the Facebook fan page. We are so jealous of the lady who has made the most incredible EPP quilt that must have taken so much patience. It's amazing. Did I say too many P's then? EPPP. <laughs> We love, Hayley, we love your quilt. We were, we were have all um, cooing over it this morning. It's amazing. I mean, there's so many awesome things on the fan page at the moment. But um, Kat said, I've been trying to achieve my EPP mega quilt. Just keep going and going and going with all the random hexes. And it's, it takes time, it takes a long time. So she, hats off to you, hats off to you. We loved it. Um, right, so you get half a meter of this. Let's see what color we've teamed it with. Your cream, cream as well, ivory, sorry, ivory with it. See, look, you could focus on different parts of it. Are you s focusing more on this or more of this? I mean, there's so many beautiful elements to it. They almost look like photo frames, don't they? They really, really look lovely. And to put it with the, uh, the ivory as well, but it's really well, it just lets this fabric sing, doesn't it? That's really nice. Um, this is the first time I've seen this fabric as well. When John launched the collection, it was very, very popular indeed. Um, John, I didn't, I didn't say Jonna. When John launched the collection, it was very, very popular indeed. Half a meter and half a meter of your complementing fabric for 10.49. Lots of these bundles have been very, very popular this morning, just so you know. Liberty Feather Dance now sold out. Uh, William Morris one, again, extremely limited. Uh, we've tried to put as much as we possibly can into these. Tried to put as much as we can. Oh, I'm thinking for face coverings as well. This would be so pretty. Uh, right, are you ready to see the price? Let's try and guess. Oh, even better. Paul guessed 8 99 Nope. 749 and look with that deep midnight blue as well it's gorgeous that is beautiful it looks very liberty-esque doesn't it let's open this up let's have a good look at it remember you're getting half a meter which is already pre-cut ready to go looks like that lots of fabric if you are buying multiples please 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 remember it comes pre-cut so you've got half a meter it looks very Liberty-esque, doesn't it? 100% cotton, beautiful quality. And then you've also got half a metre of your deep blue. Do you know what I'm thinking? At 11 o'clock today, we've got a Sashko show. You could do, use this as the background for your Sashko and then have this as a border. It has got a bit of a, a Japanese sort of feel to it. It's printed in Japan, it's beautiful. Um, no! 7.49, surely just for the one half metre is fantastic. You're getting this and your solid fabric as well. Um, just so you know, we have really, really taken this down to Bargain Town. Um, make the most of that whilst you can, because that will sell out. That's another one that's going to sell out. Um, half the stock has gone. We maxed out on the quantity, by the way. We've done everything that we can to, to get as many uh, units together as possible. But this is it. The only way of being able to get this is right now. £7.49. If it is in your basket, it's not yours until you check out. Just £7.49. Again, bags, absolutely. Bag making, this is beautiful. We've got some inspirational books as well coming up. Um, you can see them here. Just about. Um, yeah, they're coming up. So perfect for half metre pre-cuts. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're way over allocated. Have we got anything else at that cheeky, cheeky price? Okay. Are you ready? <gasps> we're going to match the price. Kat said, no, we don't have anything, but we're going to do it. If you want this, again, at that price, 
Go for it. Oh, that pink is gorgeous to go with this, isn't it? 7.49.5 metre. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I saying? 7.49 for both half metres, for your whole bundle. Whole shebang. And look at these together. Aren't they amazing? We have seen such beautiful projects made out of this rose fabric and I love it with the hot pink. That works really well, Kat. That lovely raspberry. Just £7.49 for a metre of your fabric. I mean, we keep talking about bags just because we've done some of the bag show. Um, but what, what else can you make with two half metres of fabric? There's loads, isn't there? Loads. Whether it be soft furnishings, cushions, whether it be storage tubs, laundry baskets that we were talking about. I mean, there's loads that you could do. Even with two half metres, you know, the sort of smaller basket storage tubs that we were talking about yesterday. These would be ideal, wouldn't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Toiletry bags, makeup bags. I know we're still back on bags. Um, but there's loads that you could do. Um, well done, everybody who's got them in baskets. Be aware. Don't want you to miss out. You're only going to pay one posting packaging all day long. All day long. Things for your sewing room would be nice. It's got a very sort of, um, well, it's the old, it's that English rose, isn't it? That really beautiful, classic green and a lovely colour, that grass green, with your slight sort of ditzy print in the background as well. 7.49 metre. Se 7.49 for two half metres. I can't, I can't help it. It's just fixed in my brain. It's normally 7.49, a half metre, isn't it? Not today. Not in one metre madness. This is why we called it one metre madness. <laughs> Crazy, crazy price. Sorry if you miss it. There's loads of you there. Right. So we've also got another beautiful rose fabric. Just this one. Oh, these two together. Very vintagey. I'm thinking like little drawstring bags that you could fill with lavender and, 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 and embellish with lace and pretty buttons, shell buttons and things like that. You know, like a drawstring bag like that. Half a metre of your duck egg blue with the really pretty flowers. And then what colour is this? Silver mink again. It looks so different when you put it with this one as opposed to with the, um, the Libs Elliot. Oh no. Just so you know, lots of the glow in the dark fabric is selling out. Um, oh, I'm not going to mention it again, you know. I'm not mentioning it again because I do want to talk about it at 10 o'clock still. Um, I think, yeah, I think we were a bit too excited about it earlier on. We've all been very excited about it. Again, lowest price that you're going to see on two half metre fabrics, 7.49. She's done it again. She has done it again. Normally we're looking at 7.49 a half metre. Not 7.49 for two half metres. It's a lot of fabric, a lot of fabric. Morning, Carol. She said, good morning all. Um, we've got Kat in today. We've got Paul back. One night only, one show only today. Um, yeah, it makes more sense, doesn't it? One night only. Sounds like, um, yeah, it sounds like you're uh, a famous pop star. Um, yes, tan triangles. Oh, are you thinking giraffe? I'm thinking giraffe straight away. This is so lovely. Oh, there was another one the other day about, you know, when you, do you see um, green or do you see gold or how do you see the, the sneakers? How do you see the trainers? There was another one of those things that was going around where, yeah, you need Paul to do it. It was so strange. The lady was saying either green needle or brainstorm. And depending on which word you were looking at, that's the word that you heard. And I was listening to it over and over and I was like, this is just so strange. It's so, so strange. Um, what does this, why, do, why does this remind you of that, Paul? Ah. Oh, I 
I see. Right, £10.49, great price again. Uh, price per half metre is fantastic. This is lovely. See, I'd like to do some um, little nursery projects with things like this. So cute, aren't they? That safari animal print is very, very in. I keep interesting um, nursery rooms. And this is so nice. It's almost like a, a bit of a mosaic tile, isn't it? Oh, I watched on um, the telly the other morning. They, they went to South Africa on a live safari and it was so good. Oh, you missed all the giraffes and the elephants. Oh, it was lovely. So half a metre and then you've also got half a metre of tan. Half a metre of tan. And I must say, it's really beautiful quality. It's really soft. Quilting weight cotton. Um, it's going to be beautiful for lots of projects, whether it be for quilting and patchwork. Um, for toy making, I am thinking this is ideal. Just £10.49 for a metre, remember? Metre of fabric. I know I do need a tan. I can't wait to be able to... Um, have a bit of sunshine. Hopefully, we're really lucky again this year with a lovely summer, because that was amazing, wasn't it? Uh, right, this one. This is a nice colour combination. Uh, this looked like the solstice range. Oh, it is. <gasps> right, are you ready? Solstice range warning. If you want something from this collection, this is like what happened with the glow in the dark. It's exactly the same. Look at this. Ten forty nine and a half meter for a half a meter of this, plus you're getting half a meter of your lilac. Who's that? Oh, Sue! I know that we could bring um, Paul back. You live in Tamworth. Whereabouts? What's your address? <laughs> no, I used to. That's where I grew up. That's where I grew up. Having um, yeah, uh, there's there's quite a few people who um, who work within the group from there. Cat's only down the road. She's only down the road near you. Just £10.49. The Solstice range. Oh, you missed the best collection of fabric, Paul. It was so nice. The Solstice range was so beautiful. Uh, in fact, we wanted to try and do as many Solstice range um, collections this hour. And can you see how many we've got? One. One. That was how popular it was. There's just hardly anything left. I know that some of the kit team have been nabbing some for some of their kits. And our, of course, other bubble, uh, Hannah and John, they had some, I believe, in their show the other day. I spotted Eagle Eye. I don't know how because they sold out, but uh, I think they managed to save some. So if you do absolutely love this collection, grab this whilst you can because that is stunning quality. And you're getting it with... We've put it with the amethyst colourway, which is so pretty. Hi, Jules. Morning, ladies. Morning, Paul. Oh, she is, isn't she? Kat's got a really good eye, on, eye for it. She, Kat, you're very, very good at, at picking out the, 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 um, the fabrics. Um, what is it that you're making? What is it you're making? She says, I'm going to uh, make today a smarf. Right, I think that's a... A uh, scarf, um, schmarf, schmarf. What is it? Is it a scarf and a mask? Oh, ten pounds forty-nine. That's a really good idea. That's a good idea, isn't it? I thought you meant a smurf. <laughs> Hi Sue. Oh, in Glasgow. Glasgow. Oh, Glasgow in Tamworth. <laughs> Same Sue, same Sue. Oh, Sue, so you might know Laura. You might know Laura. Laura lives um, down the road from you. <laughs> Just £10.49 for a metre of your fabrics. That's so cool. I love um, uh, Small world, isn't it? Small world. The, l the lady from Yarn Lane, um, from Nitty Critters, she she's, uh, lives in Tamworth as well. Okay, can we stick with these lovely bright colours? This is Marisol Mini. Um, you've got your floral, plus you've got this really lovely soft pink. £10.49. I love this. These make really nice little scrunchies, cats. Summer hat with a lining. 
So you could do like a little children's summer hat, couldn't you? This would be so cute. I'm thinking of loads of makes that I can do. I really want to get around to actually doing some of them though. This is so lovely. I know. I'm going to just be sleep deprived, aren't I? I need to start doing it now. Oh no, Paul. Paul's just putting me off parented already. <laughs> Half a metre of this beautiful deep blue with your orange and your pinks, your greens. Oh yeah, that would be really nice for uh, face coverings, wouldn't it? And then with this lovely soft pink. Is that called um, fuchsia? I think that we call this one fuchsia. And it is a soft pink, don't worry. It goes perfectly with this. It is that absolute perfect soft pink that matches in perfectly. Um, yeah, it's fuchsia. £10.49 for both fabrics. Remember, half a metre of this pre-cut, half a metre of your fuchsia pre-cut as well. Well done, everybody who's been checking out. <sighs> Thanks, Jules. £10.49 for a metre of fabric. Um, I think loads of people have been adding them to their baskets. Lots of people have been adding to the baskets after we've taken the graphics out. So just be aware, anything that Kat takes the graphics out for is still available on the website. Um, it's definitely worth having a good scan through and seeing what's there. Shall we do some more Liberty? Liberty! We've got Liberty in these beautiful bouquets of flowers and we've got it with a lovely grey as well. I am thinking for soft furnishing, if you do just want to inject a bit of colour but you're like me and think, right, actually, do you know what? Very much into my lovely greys. That, that's gorgeous. What cushions? Bolster cushions. Circular ones. That would look lovely. I mean, to be able to buy a Liberty cushion, <laughs> you can't do that for £10.49. And even if you just do quite a simple envelope back, you could even do, we learned how to do piped edging yesterday, you could do a lovely piped edge. We had piping cord on the website and you could do a grey piped um, edge, which would look amazing, wouldn't it? You've got loads of fabric here, plenty of fabric to be able to do your front and your cushion back and still have fabric left over. £10.49. Uh, you know that for Liberty you always pay £7.49 um, or £7.99. So it means you're paying £3 for your half metre, which doesn't make sense because even at rock bottom it's normally £3.49 on the, on the website. So it's definitely worth making the most of it. It makes a difference. It all sort of comes out in the wash, doesn't it, when you're... Um, if you uh, start adding up your savings, it makes difference. That is definitely a saying. I know I'm one for making up sayings, but that is definitely a saying. It all comes out in the wash. Paul said, I've never heard that in my life. Never heard that saying. That is a saying, isn't it? I know that I, yeah, it's like, have you heard don't cry over spilt milk? Yeah, that's a famous saying. Just like it'll all come out in the wash. Uh, no, my, my one that I've always said, and everybody tells me that it's not a saying, is you won't get your hat on, like you won't believe it. Is that not a saying? That's so annoying. Where have I got that from then? I don't know. So all of your Liberty fabric, this is the last Liberty bundle we can do, by the way. Last Liberty bundle that we can do. Harvest dog already gone. Half a metre of your grey as well with it. If you do want it, please do check out your baskets. Okay, shall we do the text? This is our final sort of print actually. Um, we've got some solid bundles coming up and mottle effects and we've got fat quarters. Loads to do in fact. Um, these, I would love to tell you what the adverts are for but um, in fact, I bet you can, Paul. Paul's multilingual, you see. If it's Italian, if Paul... Um, so what can, you, what can you read? A pizza place. Yeah, <laughs> piazza. So it is Italian. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
call Rebecca Rosetti. It's an apartment listing. Primo apartment. It's a good apartment. A premier apartment. There you go. Yeah, Paul spent all last March, um, from last March, deciding that he was going to be fluent Italian by the end of the year. How are you getting on? He says, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, so you get both black and white text. It's very sort of Tim Holtz-esque, isn't it? I think this would be really lovely for laptop bags, things like that. £8.99. Who's this? Hi, Princess Maya. Hello, lovely to hear from you. I'm doing well, thank you. I am feeling, um, oh, not me, not asking how I am. How's the bump doing? Getting big, getting big. I am feeling, I am feeling it now. But I suppose I, it's, it's a nice feeling as well. It's a nice feeling of, of growing. Thank you, Paul. Paul didn't come in. I haven't seen him for a couple of months and he didn't say, whoa, you've got big. So thank you. Not like John Scott. John Scott said, when I saw him on the crossover at Jewelry Maker, whoa, your whole body shape has changed. I thought, yes, I am very pregnant now. <laughs> I know, I look at it every day. <laughs> oh, he's away with the words, isn't he, our John? I love him, I love him dearly. <laughs> Two half metre pre-cuts for eight ninety nine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> No, I'm all good, thank you. Um, okay, so let's do some solids. Can we do the bright pink and almost like your tanzanite, speaking of jewelry maker, um, royal blue, look at that. They're lovely together. Royal raspberry. Sounds like a fancy dessert, doesn't it? Six by, um, what? I thought you said we couldn't do anything else. Anything else under 750? That was it. You said we can't do anything else under 750. These are less than seven pounds. Same amount of fabric, same quality. Remember, you're still looking at beautiful Rose and Hubble solid fabrics. See this, I'm just thinking, right, I'm going rogue. If you got this bundle, if you want to mix and match, get the other bundle as well, that one together. That'd be beautiful together. If you want to mix it with, you know, fabrics like this, there's loads. There's loads that are going to complement. Oh, yeah, that one's the Marisol bundle, just so you know. When you're committed to me to madness, Kat was thinking, oh, I could add that in, but then it's not me to madness, is it? Maybe next week you'll see 1.5 me to madness. <laughs> Have we got 1.5 me to madness? No, <laughs> we haven't. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. So, the problem is, if we are at those price, if we are going to those prices, then we do have to go quite quick. Um, this one is called Sky and Raspberry. Um, this colour looks really beautiful. Can't you tell that Kat loves it? In fact, this goes really well with the Michael Miller Happy Days range. This goes really, really well with the Solstice range. It's always in Kat's um, complimentary bundles. It goes really well with the, the whole Marisol collection. It will look beautiful with a whole selection of fabrics you've already got in your stash. But with that sky blue, what a great contrast that is. What a lovely contrast. I think a lot of people are waiting to see the whole shebang. Um, we've got lots that are in baskets. Please don't forget to check out. It's not yours until you check out. Um, I don't want you to miss out on any of these because that's very, very low, isn't it? £6.98 for those. Now, if you've got the giraffe print, you know, the tans, I'd get this one to go with. This one's tan and khaki. I will show it to you next to the, uh, the giraffe one. That's the one that we think. It's the same tan, so it's the same fabric here, but just adding that, so it means you'll get a metre of tan, you're getting this one and this one if you get both of these bundles. Um, but this together, really, really nice. Great combo. They're, in fact, some of my favourite... Um, that's one of my favourite combos of colour. Colour palettes. That khaki's lovely, isn't it? It's like a really soft, olivey green. It's really lovely. Just £6.98. Crazy low price. What's that? £6.98. No, not today. 
Not today. I'm not over at Jewelry Maker today. I only went over for an hour yesterday. I only went over for an hour. Um, <laughs> these are, again, another lovely combo. You've got um, lime and cyan. Now, once again, these will go really well with the Michael Miller Collection Happy Days that we launched yesterday. £6.98. pence. They're lovely, aren't they? And once again, remember, these are quilting weight cotton. So even though you're looking at a more affordable price, please, please, please do not think, do not think that is, of course, um, that is that is not normal for this quality of fabric. Uh, we are doing really, really good prices on our, our solid fabrics on the website. These are our staple fabrics that you'll always be able to get more of. At the moment, there are certain ones that are out of, uh, out of stock at the moment, but we'll always have them on reorder. So if, for example, you're working with this and you think, actually, do you know what? I want to get more lime or I want to get more cyan, then you'll always be able to find those colours on our web uh, on our website. And they're always really affordable, gorgeous quality, just £6.98. We've got one other. One other. Then... We've got some books, some inspiration, how we're going to use all of our lovely fabrics. Making a right mess here. I thought I was being quite organised and it's just not. <laughs> not very organised. Uh, chartreuse and turquoise. It's that shadows again. So it's, it's different to the mottle effect ones. Um, it's got even more sort of texture to it. These are really, really lovely. Instead of using it as a solid, in fact, I would still put it with your solids though. You could still mix it with the solids. Look lovely. Just eleven pounds forty nine. Good, yeah, good idea. We've decided. Oh no, we, I can't say that it was Paul's idea. No, because then Paul will want commission for the fact that he came up with the idea of adding a metre each week. So we've done metre madness, one and a half metre madness next week and so on and so forth. And then we'll be literally at like nine metre madness. Oh, it's a good idea, just building the bundles. Just 11.49. You won't be here for them. You're only doing one show only though. Stop coming with all of these great ideas. Okay, let's do some inspiration. Two Debbie Shaw books. This is Half Yard Heaven. We've also got Half Yard, Half Yard Gifts. Um, now there's lots of beautiful fabrics, especially some of those florals like your Liberties, your William Morris, your Marigold fabrics. I think these are going to be ideal for. And it's all designed using smaller pre-cuts. So if you have got these half metre bundles, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of fabric there. But I think you'll be shocked at how much you can actually make. This is Debbie's daughter. Uh, useful things to know before you start, different stitches you might need, how to do your bias binding, how to attach it to a circle, book bags. We were talking about book bags today, weren't we? Um, about the glow-in-the-dark ones. I'm not going to mention the glow-in-the-dark fabric. <laughs> there is no point in mentioning it. I don't want to, um, in fact, I don't want to mention it anymore. Uh, your wet wipe sachet cover. How good is this? In fact, you could put... Um, you know, like your wipes and some anti back in there, couldn't you? And have them as a little, you know, even in the car. I've always got my anti back there in the car of you. Your tote bag, this is lovely to be able to use. Maybe your Liberty. Uh, you can do two different panel, two different colours, and a, your strap in a, a coordinating colour as well. All really broken down beautifully, as always with Debbie Shaw. I know we're biased, um, but she's the best. She's an award winning uh, writer and. and uh, crater isn't she so of course when you are looking at her instructions you're always you, you can always rely on the fact that they are going to be very thorough she doesn't use jargon she's not going to be uh, confusing it's really clear especially with the photography as well that goes along with the step-by-step -step instructions makeup bag child's apron which is lovely makeup brush roll but then you could sort of use that uh, um, in with your crochet hooks you could use it as an artist role with all your paintbrushes. There's so many transferable skills. Nice peg bag. Your pocket apron. Getting into gardening. Glasses case. Oh, you said about glasses cases earlier on, didn't you? Which, was, which fabric was it? Can you remember? A floral one. That'd be ideal. <laughs> Are you right, Paul? 
You're crafting, Caddy. You can have a cornflake cake. Uh, your beautiful uh, Owl and the Pussycat door stops. If you got the plastic pellets yesterday, chicken door stop. There's plenty of bits and bobs on the website. That's a nice. That's a uh, that's a really nice uh, hanger as well, isn't it? If you know somebody getting married or a special christening gown or something like that, be lovely. Headband, placemat for your sewing machine, oven gloves. There's so many projects in here. Or oh, even slippers. So when we're allowed to have guests over again, imagine supplying them with fancy slippers. That'd be lovely. Oh, pan holder. That feels like a long time ago, doesn't it, Paul? Sewing machine dust cover. got to be more than a year ago we've been in this pandemic for nearly a year now haven't we Paul came over and we did him a lovely um guest room with slippers and everything it was probably uh, two years ago if not more yeah it's got to be uh right 9.99 there's your tissue box cover as well uh we've also got a gift book so lots of um, great projects in there in fact you've got how many projects has she got in there 26 projects for 9.99 26 projects that's really good value uh, and then finally the half yard gifts so if you are thinking of smaller gifts whether it be for, for yourself or for loved ones or oh, there's a draft excluder in here uh, Reading pillows are always very, very popular. Some of the, what about in, with the glow in the dark fabric? Absolutely. Draft excluder, little applique project, cosmetic bags. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Your string of chicks. You've got one of them, haven't you, Paul? If only, if only. Uh, your rustic flower pot, using different fabrics and working with different materials like Hessian. Uh, it, this is what's fantastic about Debbie's books. You've got so many transferable skills from purses to bags to toys to cushions to, to patchwork techniques to working with felts and Hessians. Talking about all of the different uh, different you know different techniques and skills that you're going to learn working with different fuses fusibles so your your different bosels which we've got by the half meter now tablet case all oh, this would be really good with the um this one and uh, really nice with your italian fabric uh so there's a bit of inspiration for everybody if you are maybe thinking Plus my sojo, don't know what to make anymore. Why not get yourself a lovely Debbie Shaw book? Somebody getting into sewing, can't recommend them enough as she is very, very thorough uh, with her teaching. So, fat quarters. Um, now, <laughs> I know that we're in one metre madness, but there's a method to cat's madness. These are still a metre. Um, let's do these first. So this is still a metre. These are amazing. Daisy May country life designer fabric all four fat quarters which equals one meter 10 pounds 49 and i love the colors so pretty got a great array of prints uh, smaller scale prints as well so if you are doing smaller projects things like your face coverings or um, scrunchies anything from the half yard books these are going to be ideal. If you're doing a lovely EPP quilt, it's, it's nice to know that you've got all of these contrasting but complementing fabrics. Uh, just £10, 49 pence. Have you had more than one? She's got all her cornflake cakes. But they're not cornflake cakes, they're Frosty's cakes. So they're even more sugary, even more chocolatey and sweet. Um, these are really pretty though, aren't they? This has always been very, 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 very popular. We're at 10.49 for all four fat quarters. Um, I've just noticed the time, so let's whiz through these. Uh, we've also got the pinks. Oh, look at that! Oh, you lovely pinks. In fact, let me just shimmy the one side off so you can see. 6.99. How? Hang on. That's got to be one of the best prices for fat quarters we've ever done, especially these lovely prints. You've got your stripe with your roses, you've got your ditz prints. They're very Liberty-esque. The colours are lovely. And you've also got your spot print as well. So fat quarter in pink spot. Um, 
uh, fat quarter with that lovely stripe in the rose. This one's really pretty. And that's very William Morris. Just £6.99. I thought it was seven forty nine, the lowest price that we were going to do. That was for two half metres. Kat said, I didn't talk about the fat quarters. That's really low. Uh, we've also got, uh, yeah, the purple, the purple. Oh, just so you know, um, all of the printed fat quarters, very, very popular indeed. Purple floral. That ditzy print. Kat's got this one because she wants to make scrunchies. The deep midnight blue with that green vine swirling through. Four fat quarters. Remember our lovely Susie, Susie Duncan, who made the, um, the really nice scarf using four fat quarters? I mean, this would be great for that, wouldn't it? Absolutely. And it's $7.99. You can't go wrong. I think Susie Duncan's coming back in soon, isn't she? Is she in with us? No. Rebecca. Rebecca Reed on Monday. Wendy? Wendy? Just £7.49. Um, that one is gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, we always love that one uh, at any price, but now it's at that price point is brilliant. Now, we've also got tartans. Here's your tartans. I don't know whether I should say this. Highland cow. If you've got the Highland cow pattern, if you've got the Highland cow, have a go with the tartans. Uh, I'm, I'm yet to see somebody do it with the tartan and it looks amazing. Well, I'm presuming it will look amazing. <laughs> Just £5.49. I love these. And this one's like a fleecy, fleecy one. You've got such beautiful, beautiful quality fabrics. And you also get some twine as well. Keep that. Useful, isn't it? Just £5.49. £5.49 for a metre. How are we that low? What is going on? Surely that's still an early bird price or something. Surely that has got to be an early bird price. That's really low. Five forty nine for all of those, but a metre of fabric, four fat quarters. Um, that is brilliant. Now, just quickly, by the half, by the metre. Well, they are by the half metre. Uh, or are they cut into metre pieces? Yes. This one is pre-cut into a into a metre piece. This is your H640. We were talking about it earlier on with Catherine. Very, very useful. Very, very useful. Um, especially if you look through a Debbie Shaw book, she will always recommend your fusible fleece, which is H640. It's an official Visaline product. Uh, we saw how to use it earlier on with Catherine. It's basically one side, which is adhesive. You can feel the rough sort of glue part. And the other side, which is this lovely fleecy texture. Uh, I wouldn't, uh, you know, use it. I wouldn't wad a quilt with it. I wouldn't use it as wadding for a whole quilt, but for, for, for bags and for uh, cushions, smaller wall hangings maybe. This is ideal if you're doing free motion. If you just want to add a bit of structure, H640 is very, very useful. We saw it in the last hour if you want to watch it back because um, Catherine went through exactly how to adhere it to your fabric. Uh, if you do want to multi-buy on this, they will come pre-cut into one metre pieces. We've also got one other which we want to show you called Thermalan. Now this is a compressed fleece. So if you are, it's, it's not heat proof, but it's heat resistant. Uh, it's another official Visaline product called Thermalan and it is uh, a really lovely sort of dense fleece, which if you're doing kitchen makes, maybe from the Debbie Shaw books that we were looking at, I know that on the Visaline website, they do recommend doing a couple of layers if you are using it with, you know, with heat. Um, it isn't the one with the metal running through. No. So it's one that you could put, um, you know, into heat, into microwave or something. If you want to make bowl coats and things like that, it's going to be ideal. Table runners, this would be lovely. You're thinking of... What's it called, the other one? Insel Bright. You're thinking of Insel Bright. Five pounds and 99 pence, and that's a whole metre. Well, one metre by 90 centimetres, so slightly uh, narrower. Um, not one metre square, one metre by 90. Just five pound 99, but if you are doing, maybe an I I'm gonna make a new ironing board cover. My ironing, I didn't realise how mucky my ironing board gets. I've had it for years and years, and thought, right, I'm gonna make myself a new ironing board cover. So I want to get some Thermaland to do that. Okay. Right, very, very quickly, the straps. 
we have got a couple of different colours, some rainbows. Oh, I love these colours. Oh, I can't reach. Uh, let's start with this one. Nice bright colours. Now, this is your metre of webbing. £2.99. £2.99. And look, all oh, those colours. Now, because of that price, we never generally see this on air. They've been on the website for a while, but they uh, never generally make it to air. So if you do want to stock up, if you've made your, uh, your purchase already, what about if you've opened your order and paid your postage and packaging? Uh, what about belts with this? What about little dungaree straps? Um, what about using them for, for guitar straps? Using them for, of course, bag straps for your tote bags? perfect you don't need to cover them you know a lot of webbing sometimes they're a bit of a dull color and you think i'm going to cover it with fabric whereas these are really lovely and sturdy and already done and nice and bright um we've also got the other rainbow colorway which is like your classic rainbow isn't it oh very symbolic indeed i love this absolutely love it just two pounds 99 i think it would be really cool as a bit of a strap on that maybe on the front of a pocket or something just two pounds and 99 pence for your multicolor rainbow it's 40 millimeters in width and you get a whole meter which you can of course cut down and then last but not least this is a really lovely beachy colorway isn't it this would be nice for a weekend bag <laughs> a whole meter again it's the same width it's your 40 millimeter width for just £2.99. Right, check out your baskets on all of those. We are going to try and do an hour with this fabric, but well done everybody who's already got it. Stay tuned because we're going to give you lots of inspiration of what to do and we're going to have a good look at this beautiful glow-in-the-dark fabric. I'm trying to keep it on the down low. It's coming up right after this. To see me back. <laughs> <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. 
I then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, welcome back. Very excited about this show. I must say we have been really, really jammy over the last couple of weeks with the, the gorgeous fabric collections we've been launching. It's been amazing. Um, this one, of course, is no exception. And I'm so pleased that you sort of get the hang of it and are there really, really early on pre-order. Thank you for, for being there. Of course, I want to still show you everything. Majority of it's already sold out which we we kind of knew would happen to be honest it is a stunning collection and it's the first time that we've had glow in the dark fabric i promise though we have done everything in our power we knew it was going to be popular um to get in as much as we can i was talking to paul about this yesterday we got in everything we possibly can it's just that busy um our buying team uh, have maxed out and bought as much as we possibly can so i'm really really sorry if it's um if, if you do miss out on any right Shall we go through what we can buy <laughs> and then we'll have a look through the ones that you've already bought. So let's start with the big panel at the bottom. We've got only three of these left. I might as well just tell you. Uh, if you do want one, be quick to check out now if I were you. I'm upside down. Right, so panels are great. There's loads, uh, loads that you can do with panels. On the website, I think the picture, oh, sorry. The picture just shows you this main square, but actually you're getting the top and the bottom as well. There's loads that you're getting. So it isn't just this part, it's also this border and this border. Just nine pounds and 99 pence. How amazing is that? And the colors are gorgeous. Now, Just so you know, you can still check out on this just about. It is literally about to go. So is it not worth me showing you the, the glow in the dark on this one? Shall we go to the next one? Right, that one is about to sell out. Well done if you get it. I love it. It's brilliant. Um, if you do buy the panel, they come pre-cut. They're already panels like this. Fantastic. Right, so we've also got the dandelions, which I love. I absolutely love absolutely love i think what a bit more i think we've got a bit more of this i think i uh, can't wait for you to get this home because every single one of these dandelions they all glow in the dark i can see it really clearly here in the studio but can you just see how that we're just taking the lights down in the studio i'm shining a light on it you won't need to do this at home it will just be in the dark oh how cool is this they glow sort of like a green, uh, yeah, iridescence. They're so cool. Just so you can see how dark it is. There I am. Hello. Oh, I look good in the dark, don't I? Look good. Um, but these are amazing. We just love these fabrics. It looks great in the light as well. Catherine, I think that was the, the, the great thing about this collection, actually, is that even if it didn't glow in the dark, I still think it's a really beautiful fabric. Absolutely, just really, really gorgeous colours yeah. in them and they all go together beautifully and they were all gorgeous to sew with. 
Yes. And I like, I, I love the little dandelion designs everywhere as well. Yes. Such a nice motif. Yeah, I agree. It is really beautiful. Uh, we've also got the green. Now, this is the one that you used in the cushions. Initially, you're saying, I wasn't sure how this would go in together with everything, but it, it still complements everything perfectly, doesn't it, if you are thinking of larger projects? Well, it does, because in the in the little squares, the panel with the little squares, you've got a lot of the little leaves. Yeah. So to use that fabric with it, it really picks it out, actually. So what's going to glow in the dark here? Is it the wings and the... Uh, look! That's so cute. It's a little firefly. Ah! And look at all the different colours. Look at all the different colours. This time it isn't just like the green. You can see all so many different colours when it glows in the dark. I love that. Absolutely love it. £7.49. Uh, just so you know, panel now sold out. Dandelions now sold out. This one, we have got three and a half metres left. So if you are thinking of larger projects, go for it. Because there's a lot that you can do. Now it's by the half metre as opposed to a panel. I think it adds even more opportunities of what you can do. Well, absolutely. I mean, you could buy a big bit of that and that's the backing to your quilt. Yeah. And then you've got both sides glow in the dark. Oh, cool. That'd be amazing. <laughs> in fact, you were saying to your, your dressmaking group, weren't you? What, what, what sort of thing? I put it out there to my to my ladies, my lovely dressmaker ladies. Oh, look, I've been sent this lovely, lovely fabric. I was busy whizzing up this yeah. while I was talking to them I said you know what would you make come on then what would you make and they had some great ideas actually great ideas uh, rucksack for a, a child nice yeah oh, so yeah, when they're walking the along especially on the dark nights yeah. you know start to see them um, disco top Oh, disco nice. top, twirly skirt for your little girls. Good they idea. They would love that, wouldn't they? Really good idea. And it because even though it's got this glow in the dark property, it doesn't make it's gone by the way, this one's sold out. It doesn't make the, the, the quality sort of any different. It's still your quilting weight. 100% cotton. It's not like you've got a dressing on it or no, anything. No, it feels just like normal cotton. Absolutely yeah. normal. Very nice quality actually to sew with. Really enjoyed sewing with it. Ah, oh, lovely. Final one. This is the last one available. Uh, we said, Catherine, we're probably going to be spending about half an hour talking through all the fabrics before we even, um, we even come to you. Uh, it looks like everything is going to sell out in the next couple of minutes. This is beautiful. Again, the colours are lovely. And your fireflies, of course, are all going to light up. Your dandelions in the background. Can we do a, a, a lower the lights again, please, Paul? We're just going to go back down into darkness so you can see. I'm using like a, a, an infrared light, but you won't need to do that, however. It would just be in a, a dark light. It's just to show you on on cameras. Uh, it's, it's quite difficult to show you that in the uh, in the studio. But look, you can see what's going to glow in the dark at home. So cool. Seven pounds forty nine. Right. What's the availability on this one? Four meters left. That's it. Just four meters left. Let me show you. It's one hundred and twelve wide. One hundred percent cotton machine washable, lots of the panels sold out very, very quickly. Remember, this one comes by the half metre. So one person could come in and just take the whole lot. If you do love it, it's the first time that we've had any glow-in-the-dark fabric. And it's not it's not novelty either, is it? It's still, um, do you know, whenever I think of glow-in-the-dark fabric, I think of your Halloween fabric or your stars fabric, whereas actually this is really grown no, up. No, it's just lovely in its own right. It's a really nice designs in their yeah. own right it actually doesn't matter if you don't see the glow in the dark yeah. but you know it's just gorgeous colors and and designs as it is i tell you what i thought i would use it Go for on. if it was me i would make um cushions for my garden seats oh, because yeah. when you're sitting out in the evening and it starts to get a bit dark and maybe you've got your little fire pit going yeah and then your cushions might start to glow and that it's, it's so really cool. good it's a really nice garden -y sort of a design as well yeah, isn't it that's a really good so idea. i thought that would be really nice and get them and make them now and then come april and the sunshine comes out we'll all go out there with our new cushions and it'll be great oh good idea <laughs> good idea good idea um is that one sold out cat it's gone uh let me just quickly show you i'm literally gonna whiz through and I, I, I don't want to sort of put salt in the wound for anybody who misses it but i also want to make sure that everybody sees what they're getting because you've seen it on the website uh, it's still important that you see what you've got 
Um, I think that we've got a wish list facility, you know, with our um, customer service team. So you never know because someone might change their mind or transactions might not complete. Uh, they will let you know if anything becomes available. So if there is a one that you really, really want, it's definitely worth speaking to the customer service team. So this one, I mean, they're all absolutely beautiful. This was one of our favourites, wasn't it, when we showed it on the website this morning. Um, the butterflies with the lights. I mean, they're, they're all going to look absolutely incredible. Oh, I love that, they're like fireworks. Honestly, we had so much to start with, so I'm really excited to see what everybody makes with it because I think everyone's going to come up with different ideas, aren't they? Uh, are you spotting the one that you've got? Let me know what you're thinking of doing. Let us know. This, I think, is my favourite. Oh, that's like fireworks, isn't it, Catherine? It's gorgeous. Can we, like, can it's we, see, can we see that one going? Can we do it? It's gone. No, can oh, she glow. make it? Can, let's yeah, let's it do going. it. Paul, could we please lower the lights? Is there? Oh, that's really nice because it's really quite spacey, isn't it? When yeah. it's it's uh, glowing. <gasps> that's amazing, isn't it? I'll put the message on the screen. Is it somebody who's messaged in on? Oh, it's on fa on my Facebook. Let me see. We've had a message come in. Somebody who used to, um, is it Laurie? Hi Laurie, I grew up with fly fireflies in my yard. I used to watch them uh, in, my clasps hand, uh, in my class hands and peek at them and watch, watch them light up. I used to put them in jars and then let them go free after they're fascinating. The fabric is beautiful. Laurie, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It is gorgeous, absolutely lovely. And then the last one uh, was the panel, was the big panel that was the smaller squares and that's what we're gonna be talking through as well. So just to give you a bit of an idea, there's no sort of patterns today or anything in particular. We just thought we'd have a bit of a play, didn't we? Yeah, do, do you know what? It was really Let exciting. They said, oh, we're sending you a big bundle of fabric. You can make what, what you like. I was like, wow, nice. this is exciting. So I spent a long time thinking like, oh no, what am I gonna make, what am I yeah. gonna make? <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to do things that would just show off the fabrics to you so you could see how, how they were. So I just, I whizzed up a little, um, little patchwork quilt. Now, oh, yeah. just a little quilt like that. Now you, you need one of these, because when you've got a baby, to whiz out just a small little thing for them to lie on yeah. is what you need. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. So you need plenty of those. Now, I only used a fat quarter of four of them for the top. Okay. And then I used the other, because they come in half metres, the other oh, half, fat quarters it. which I joined together to back it. And so that's really reversible. So that's really, it looks that's great. Great. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that was really just to show you how the co all the colours went together. And then I decided to use one of the panels to make up the little cushion. Here we go. I'll show you this. There it is. Oh, yeah, we've got it in the picture. Yeah. Um, that's beautiful. So, again, you've used the panel. Is that on the back? I used, um, yes, because I hadn't got separate backing okay. fabric. And um, I obviously had to keep enough to show you something on the show as well. Yeah. So I just used some of the panel for the back too. Again, your pattern matching. Looking <laughs> lovely. <laughs> so um, because obviously these aren't massive, I decided obviously we needed to do borders. And I could have just done plain strips or whatever. But I'm one of those people. I always like to have a go at something I've not done before because then you learn something new and it's, it's fun. So I um, have put on what's called a harlequin border. So okay. I thought what I'd do is show you how to do oh, your harlequin yeah. border. Let's have a closer look at that. Which so are these um, diamonds. So obviously they're squares, but you rotate them so they look like diamonds. Yeah, they, they really, they remind a lot of people of sort of like, the cat said, I thought they were flying geese at the start. So they're yes, not. It's not quite. It? No, it's yeah. called a harlequin border. Cool. So I thought I'd show you how to do that. Yes, please. So even if you haven't got the fabric, you can learn how to do a harlequin border yes. and use it on something else. Good idea. Good <laughs> idea. Okay, so you start by, um, I, I did actually, and I'm not, I don't normally manage to do this, write down the measurements of what I did so I could tell you. Normally I just Thank wing you. it, eh, Vicky. Okay, so my strips that I put around the panel, you can see I used the little blue ones, which are actually just the pieces in between on here. So oh. you could, um, I cut it out and then decided what to do. Now the strips on there are an inch wide, so you could just cut them out a little bigger if mm -hmm. you wanted to and you haven't got to stitch them on. Um, but because I was making it up as I went along and playing about, I did stitch them on on that one. So I put a one inch 
border onto the panel. So you can use every scrap, you see. Right, you haven't perfect. got to waste anything, have you? No, even on the panels, every every part of it, even your salvage I really like with the little fireflies, all the different colours. Yeah. Nothing's going to go to waste. All lovely. So, and then we're going to cut some strips across the width of our fabric for the border. Now, the central square, whichever one you decide to use, wants to be three inches wide. Okay. And then the other strips, which are either side, so these make the triangles, they want to be three and a half inches wide. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do first. I haven't got my ruler ready. Again, I'm not doing very well with my readers, am I today? I keep forgetting I actually need them. Sorry, you just <laughs> it, it's just a bit awkward to unhook, isn't it, from that angle. There we go. Got it. I did put a nice new blade in my rotary cutter though. Oh yeah, when you get nice new fabrics, it's lovely, isn't it? It's very satisfying. There's nothing worse than slashing your new fabric because your rotary blade's not not quite sharp enough. So we'll make this one our central one and cut a nice three inch strip. Just move it very slightly so I can see what I'm doing. Pop that in slightly. Oh, I'm so envious that you've got all of this fabric. This is so lovely, isn't There's it? There's such a lot to play around yes. with. If, if, well, did it come in? Bundle. Could you buy a whole big, big bundle? Yeah. If you bought the whole big, big bundle, you have got so much fabric to play with. Yeah. It's lovely. So that's your three inch one. And then this one is three and a half. I had a message from Kim. Hi, Kim. Good morning. I have a little back poodle. I'm going to make her a coat. <gasps> oh, what so a great idea. The dark. Fantastic. Perfect. Oh, please, will you send us a photo when you Yeah, when you, when you go out on the on the dark night. That's a really good idea. Oh, I wish I'd thought of that. I could have made a little Stevie one. Oh, My yes. little Stevie. Oh, what breed is Stevie? Stevie is a patapoo, which is patapoo. Patadale terrier crossed with a poodle. Oh. She's kind of, she's small and scruffy. Oh, cute. And very cute. cute. And very sometimes cute. a little bit naughty. But she's still little, so we let her oh. off. So, of course, she's getting away with murder, really, isn't she? Little dogs always get away with it more so, don't they? She is rather liking the fact that everybody's at home. Oh. Yes, and getting lots of attention. Okay, so we're cutting two three and a half inch strips across the width of our fabric here. What are you buying, Paul? Some Thermalan for his mum and some Thermalan. <laughs> Thermalan's good for the, your um, heat resistant thing. So if you're making anything for the kitchen or anything like that, the Thermalan that we had in the last hour, if you want to get it, but maybe for barbecues, if you're taking, um, you know, Catherine's advice and doing some barbecue bits and bobs. You could make you could make uh, glow in the dark oven gloves. Oh yeah. When you're doing your barbecue, couldn't you? Yeah. What is it your mum's wanting to make? Barbara, what are you wanting to make? Um, the graphics, by the way, are in for the sewing machine. We've got nothing else. Um, I, I think everything's completely sold out. Um, but the sewing machine is the 560 that Catherine's using. It is the one with the thread cutter and 100 stitches. So I'm just putting it together with a quarter inch seam, each strip. When I was little, Vicky, yeah. I don't know, I had glow-in-the-dark stars on my ceiling. Oh, I still do! Yeah, <laughs> and they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. They really are nice to have. Oh, no, I don't know, so, but I remember them. Yeah, I think, I, I think this, we all had them. Kat this, says she's still got them. This reminded me of that, and I just thought, oh, yeah, it'd be so nice, actually, to have... i tell you what I did think would be lovely, if you've got a half metre and you're so inclined, to do a lampshade. Oh, a lampshade! Because that, that would be nice. Would be really nice. Yeah, good idea. Endless possibilities. Oh, Barbara's making bowl cosies. I, I do like a nice bowl cosy, especially this sort of weather when you're having porridge and you're having soup. There's nothing worse, is there, than yeah, burning your hands on a, a hot, a hot bowl. Oh gosh, yeah, on my arm. I had a bit of an incident yesterday with uh, the day before with my hot water bottle. And I've got this really long, it's almost like a draft excluder long hot water bottle that's the size of it around you. And it was in my sink and just all of a sudden, I I don't even know how I've done it, but I, 
I must have lifted it up and the water all splashed all on my arm. And I've got a really oh. bad burn on my arm. Mm. Nasty. I burnt myself at the start of lockdown one yeah. on a big thing. I've still got a burn mark. Oh, gosh. Nasty. Be careful, be careful. It's oh, not you've nice. got to be careful. But if you've got your Thermalan, exactly. won't happen, will it? Exactly. You'll be all right. Okay, so then I'm putting the... Yeah, maybe I just need to cover myself in thermal. <laughs> we'll make your little thermal yeah. like all <laughs> in one. Bit, I'm a bit accident prone. I think I'm being a bit clumsy. <laughs> off balance. I'm, I'm, go, I'm blaming it being off balance. <laughs> I think you could make some really pretty things for children's bedrooms with this. Because children often have a night light or, um, you yeah. know, things. So. I really like the idea of lampshades. That's brilliant, isn't it? I did think it would be quite nice. Very when I was weighing up my options, what to make with this lovely bundle of fabric, I very, very nearly made a little pair of children's shorts. Oh, cute! Because I thought they'd be so cute. Yeah, that would be really cute. Reading cushions as well would be nice, wouldn't they? Yes. So you do a cushion, you know, that's got the elastic on to keep your book in. That's a lovely idea. And yeah. you've got room for your torch, but then it would glow too. Yeah, that'd be really Love nice. It. Oh, we're so happy that you love this fabric as much as we do. Oh, here we go. Who's that? Julie. Julie's making um, straps, key rings, bandanas, things like that for cats and dogs for at night. Good idea. Collars, leads, things like that. Perfect. We need to get more glow in the dark fabric now, don't we? You, you're right, though. It's not often such a nice design. Yeah. It's often, you're right, a bit, a bit Halloween. Novelty. Yeah. No, but this is this is just lovely designs in it. Same. Right. I, you know, I'd buy it even if it wasn't glow in the dark because it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to press it with the seams going flat open. like that. No. No. To open, the outside. To the outside. That's the one. Okay. Um, right, this iron, just so you know, we've had a lot of people asking about this iron over the last few days. It is coming back into stock very soon. I don't even know whether it's on tomorrow's show, you know. We know that it's coming back in and we keep trying to take it. In fact, we have said, please, can we schedule it for our show next week because we know it will be in by then. But um, I've got a feeling that you might be able to, to get it before then. It it's ha it's handy. It's, it's got, I like the little stand. Yeah, really it's handy. It's got a little stand. And, and Kat did show me a very clever way of getting the cord off, but, but no, I'm don't not going to that. attempt that right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I'm going to press it on both sides so that I can press my, my seams really nicely open. See, those two go really well together, don't they? They all go well together, these fabrics. Oh, do you, have, do you have any left over of this, Catherine? <laughs> I want to make a little cot mobile and there's nothing left for me to so buy. Th there are some very small bits in the, in the little box Just like a little outside. moon or something would be nice, wouldn't it? Like on a mobile. There's a little bit. We could do it off the show, Cat, couldn't we? That'd be so lovely. That's a nice idea, a baby's mobile. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've had lots of great ideas. What else did that lady say? A cot mobile and a little... Um, a cot, a cot bumper as well. Yes. Is that for the bottom of the cot? What's a cot yeah, bumper? Yeah, you have to be. They, yeah, you have to be a little bit careful, careful. with cot bumpers, okay. but they, um, they, they tend to tie oh. on the edges of the cot just to stop the baby bumping the bars. Ah. But they're not always ask. recommended just for safety okay. things. Melissa, we will ask and try and get more. Of course. We'll ask for any glow-in-the-dark fabric as well because I think it's really useful, like you said. It's not only really pretty, but actually so useful, like you say, for pet things and, and, and all sorts. Uh, we did have hundreds of units, so um, it's been very popular. We knew it would be. The moment it went on the website this morning, before we even came to air, it was popular. Okay, so I'm going to cut this lovely bit up now into three-inch little rectangles so that makes our central one into a square oh the difference that a nice new rotary blade makes does that feel nice it feels lovely i should have done this weeks ago 
<laughs> it's things like that, you know, that I'm a bit lazy with changing my rotor blow cutter, particularly changing my needle in my machine. And gosh, you don't half make a difference. <laughs> it makes make all the difference. difference, yeah. You but don't realise how much you need to do it until you do it, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I should have I done didn't realise my machine was like making a bit of a noise, a bit of a clunky noise, and I thought, what is that? I realised it was my needle needed changing. I didn't realise that it would make a noise. <laughs> Do you know what? It's one of those things you should change your needle more often, but we all tend to wait until it either breaks or it stops actually sewing properly. And then you think, oh, yeah, I'll do my needle. Yeah. No, they recommend every sort of eight hours, don't they, sewing? Do they? I'd be, oh, gosh, I'd be changing mine all the time. I know. <laughs> eight hours or every big project, uh, if you're doing a big uh, quilting project or something, I mean, put a new needle in. Some of the lovely things that I see on the Sewing Street fan page and you know that people uh, obviously spend hours and hours yeah, sewing beautiful needles. things that would be a lot of needles. Yeah. <laughs> okay I've got a nice little stack there and then we're going to put them back together but we're going to stagger them so that we start to get our diamonds nice. coming together and it's weird because when you sew them like this it feels like you're going you're going upwards <laughs> and you're not putting them right but when you rotate it back okay. it's all right so you've just got one bit to match you've got your point there to match but because of the way you've pressed it if you press those seams open you will see that they they nest, they nest together so does that mean you nicely. don't need to pin necessarily no i pin? didn't pin mine when no. i was doing it you can if you want to. I mean, I'd say if you were a, if you were a beginner and you're fairly new to patchwork, just to make it all stay where you want it, pop a pin in. Yeah, yeah, gives you a bit of extra security and yeah. confidence as well. I think. Uh, and again, I'm going to use a quarter inch seam. I think I've I sewn that wrong. No, I have sewn it right. <laughs> Having a moment. <laughs> okay. And then your next one goes on like that. Right, okay. So I'm going to piece a few together like this. And then we'll trim it up. This is a lovely technique to do, like around cushions or even around bags. You could do this as a, almost like the set of a bag. You could do it around a border of a quilt, couldn't you? Oh, absolutely! Nice it's technique. it's a nice it's a nice border to do. I mean, I often just resort to doing just straight borders, but um, it takes a bit longer. But it is lovely. Actually, it's quite nice, especially if you're doing a panel. I mean, you've not done lots of patchwork on the front of this, so it's nice to make a feature of your border. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah, just yeah. to make it a little bit more more special. That's what I like about this this collection actually. You can do as much or as little as you want. I can see a lot of people doing some embroidery on the top of it as well. Some embroidery maybe in the grass or you know. I contemplated that yes. Um, I actually thought it'd be really nice to do some hand quilting on yeah, it. Yeah yeah. Yeah with a nice variegated thread that would be yeah, lovely. Yeah that would be really nice. Um, you can do free motion on it. I mean I did very very little. People who've seen me do these things know I'm not that fond of quilting, so I always try not to do, do as much, very much quilting if yeah. I can help it. But you can, if you like quilting, you can do loads. Yeah. There's loads you can do with it. Absolutely. Have you been doing any sort of craft club things with your children over homeschooling time? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> are they into? Do they like making? Are they creative? They are very creative. My eldest Anna, she's very, very artistic. Yeah. She's to be fair, she's much better than me, really. Um, she's really, she's doing art GCSE, so she's doing a lot of painting and drawing oh, and lovely. things. Anyway, and she's been doing this lovely project, actually, that includes free motion embroidery. Oh, wow. So that's quite cool. Uh, my son, he's not so much into drawing or sewing or things. He likes baking very much. So he does Still a lot. very creative, in fact, yeah. In fact, when I get home today, he'll have made some fresh bread rolls. Oh, They're doing nice. a live food tech lesson. Oh, brilliant. Ooh, That's yeah. a good one, isn't it? That's yeah. not so boring. So actually, well, it's really good because at school, um, before Christmas, they couldn't do lessons live. Yeah. They were having to just get a demo and come and do it yeah. at home but now they're going to all be doing it together this in their own it. kitchen so that's really good isn't I suppose it? Um, yeah everybody's had more time to think this time round of right how can we make this work more effectively yeah. 
it's incredible technology, isn't it? How they're able to do all these live classes from home. Technology these days, eh? Can I you know. imagine? I know. No, roll it out the big projector. Um, hi, Charlene. We've had a message come through. Uh, I've got Delphine Brooks, Tasha Tiger pattern. I may use the glow in the dark, uh, the dark fabric for the tiger. Ooh. I'd love to see that. That's nice. Especially because that's quite sort of shadowy, isn't it? Especially, you know, the reverse um, applique one is quite sort of shadow-esque. So that would look really cool in the dark as well. Good idea. Really good idea. Saw quite a few of those coming up on the, uh, the Facebook fan page, actually. That Tasha pattern is just, I love it. Looks amazing. <laughs> Paul, Paul's been gone for six days. He's like, has everyone missed me? Is no one's messaged in yet? No one's has anybody missed me? He's been gone six days. He's back for one day only, and he wants to make sure everybody knows. One day only, so come and say hello. What's he like? <laughs> How many of these do you need to keep stitching together then? Right, as, as, as I wrote, I project. did write down what we needed. We need, you need two that are 11 and a quarter inch, and then you need two that are 19 and a half inches for the top and the bottom and the sides. But I haven't measured this, I'm just doing a bit to show yeah. you. So we'll give this a press. This doesn't matter too much which way your seams go, because you're not really joining this to anything. And that will, it kind of just tells you which way it wants to go anyway. It just does, it. yes. I really like that combination, actually. Just so you know, we're emailing the buying team right now. Um, I can hear Kat like this. I'm like, what are you doing? She says she's uh, emailing the buying team right now to get more of this fabric in. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> or that, either that or she's playing the piano on silent because it just <laughs> sounds like this. Right, I'm just going to switch... Swivel my board around if I can. Paul won't like it because he, he's very carefully come out and positioned this so it's in the right spot. Right, you're still in the right spot. That's all good. He's only here for one day. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care if we upset him today. He's like, you care. Okay, I'm going to line it up like this because what we're going to do is we're going to then square it off into a strip. So I'm going to line my ruler up. Kim says she's going to make um, bunting. Great yeah. idea. That'd be lovely in your garden, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Really nice. Oh, we're all, we're all going to need to get out with our barbecues. I think we'll do it in February. Shall we do oh, it in February yes. anyway? It yes. doesn't matter. We'll get on and do it. I, oh. bought, I bought my mum and dad a fire pit for Christmas. Oh, I know lots of people who got fire pits this yeah. year. Liam and Joe got a, Yeah, you got Joe a fire pit for his birthday, didn't you? Um, so what else is Kim making? Quilted wall hanging with the panel and a lampshade. Yeah, great idea. Really good idea. How do you make a lampshade? Well, you can get some very nifty kits. Can you? That That's are very cool. easy to follow, yes. All right. Yes, and they make a drum lamp lampshade. Oh, nice. Lampshades are expensive, aren't they? Trying to yeah, find one that matches in. So if you've got your But they do or... only need a half metre of fabric. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Keep all your little bits like that. For a PK oh, yeah. and scrap patchwork and all that kind of thing. Go in the dark buttons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Change one of your card is. Glow in the dark buttons. So when I'm getting dressed in the morning at 5 a.m. Yeah. and not wanting to put the lights on. It's a good then idea. There you go, glow in the dark buttons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've looked into getting glow in the dark threads as well. Can not you? See, yeah, we, our buying team have been looking into it. I've never seen them before, but I suppose actually if you are doing embroidery or different things. If you can get them, that would be great to do your uh, bit of embroidery quilting, and quilting yeah. on. Yeah, really nice. Because you could go around these on yeah. this one. You know, you've got your lovely butterflies you can yeah. go around. Absolutely. There's some really nice motifs on these fabrics that you can use to, to help you. Nice. Things like, I always think free motion, sometimes it's hard to know where to go. But if you've got motifs that you can follow, mm. it actually makes it a lot easier for you. Oh, great. So you can see mm. I've squared that up yeah. into a nice piece and then that's ready. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut one of my panels. I'd cut that one, but I'm going to cut one with the inch border and then 
we can attach that on one side and you can see so how, many how different, it's going to look. Uh, are there six different sort of picture frames on this one? Yeah. Or even eight. Were there no, eight? No, six. No, there's six there's on six. there. I've just cut the side bits off, haven't I? It'll go a long way. Rita, you need to speak to the customer service team. Kat can't, um, can't do your request via her chair right now. She can't do it on her computer. She says you need to speak to the customer service team. It's a different system in a different building. But the customer service team will be able to help you. Sorry, Rita. Just turn that round. So I'm just cutting it with an extra, an extra inch on. Just as little, like you say, wall hangings or to frame them in picture frames. They'll just look so lovely in the day and then at night. Yeah, on a stairwell maybe. Good idea. Light your way to bed every night. Oh, Marie, I love all of your feedback for the uh, bamboo products. The lady socks. You like the lady socks. Brilliant. I haven't tried the lady socks. I bought lots of the socks for men. I got them for every gent in my, my family for Christmas and they were really good. And the bedding's gorgeous. Have you seen this U bamboo bedding? No. It's amazing. And I know that you're really sort of conscious of your eco and sustainability, oh, yeah, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. You'll love it. The face masks are great as well. Yeah. So I'm just going to line the edges up and I'm just going to sew along. And you've got a little point that you can see okay. to hit as you go along to get them in. There's still no need to pin though. Well, I'm not going to. You can if you want. <laughs> Do you know what? You since, it. since I've been doing a sewing street, because you've got to, I have, you have to make things fairly quickly to be able to bring them into show. On. I've got that. I don't pin anything anymore. <laughs> rebel. What a rebel. We produce rebels, don't we? <laughs> but yeah, probably should. Probably should, shouldn't you? It depends how confident you're feeling. I think that's what it comes down to. Absolutely. And it's a smaller panel. If you are doing a full quilt where you were... Oh, yeah. I mean, when, when I did this one, I definitely pinned it yeah. all. Yes. Yes. Hi, Julie. Julie said, can you use the scraps for the confetti quilts? Ooh. It depends what the back looks like because... Mm, the, I know that Delphine used the batik fabrics because it's the same on both sides. So um, I don't know whether you could. Uh, they, I mean, it would, again, would look amazing, wouldn't it, with you going the dark? But I think that you would need a fabric that's got the same on the reverse. So any of your Hoffman batiks or anything like that. Have you seen that technique, confetti quilting, before? I haven't, and I'm quite intrigued by it. And I'm going to have to go and look it yeah, up now. I think she's done it with um, a, 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 some sort of like well, organza over the top. Do you know what? I have done it. it down, I and have, then pulled it yes, away. I have done it, but not to make pictures. I've just done patterns with right. it. And I've done it before with little scraps of felt because oh, no. that's the same on either side. Okay. But it is very, very good for using up pieces of fabric. Yeah. So I don't see if you were careful how you placed it yeah. on. Yeah. You know, to make sure they were the same way yeah. around, then yeah, you could yeah. use it up. Catherine, we've got about five minutes. Okie dokie. So I'm just trimming off like that. So I'll do top and bottom, mm -hmm. and then I'll two longer pieces mm -hmm. for the side. Nice. And then I just put it together like a normal envelope back cushion. Yeah. But I'm going to have to make up a bit longer strip to do it. Well, I'm actually, a, mm, not, I'm a shorter one. See if I can have got Oh my goodness me, I've got that much on here. I can't find anything I know. anymore. This is this is my this is what my say. Yeah. You, you were saying earlier today <laughs> you have a lot of fabrics, don't you? I have a lot of fabrics. But you've treated yourself recently to some more lovely. I did, I did do a, a little purchase from Sewing Street. It was my daughter's birthday and I was waiting for her to get up. And she she didn't get up. So I, I just happened to catch I think it was the day they were saving John. Oh, we yeah, didn't really save need saving, John. but we all got a discount. I thought, oh, that's there good. There you go, yeah. Got some fabric. So you've got your William Morris and your Liberty. I have. I, don't, nice. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Although I have got an inkling to make a patchwork jacket. 
Oh, wow, really? Oh, see, I love that because quite often when you think of, have you bought the smaller pre-cuts or what, 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 what have, have you I got? got? The William Morris, I've got a half a metre of like loads and loads oh, and loads wow. of design. So I've easily got so, enough yeah, for, for something like that, yeah. But it's one of those things, isn't it? When you buy really nice fabrics, sometimes it's quite hard to do things with them because you like to, them so You've much and to. then you're a bit like, oh, what am I going to do? And you, yeah, it's, it's easy to think, oh, I'm going to save it for the right project, but actually you just need to get Go on for it. Yeah. So. But yeah, I've got a pattern for a patchwork quilted jacket. Oh, well, no, it's only a quilted jacket, but I thought I'd make it patchwork because yeah. I like patchwork things. And uh, so, yeah, might, yeah have a, good idea. might have a play about with that. It's always nice to have a go at something new. If I just trim that one off and then I can pop that on the bottom as well. And like you say, now, all of those little pieces are still good sizes that you could use for other things. Don't throw them away. Oh, no. So even these bits, if you, if you, um, these little bits here where they've got joins on, if you save them, you can use them for crazy patchwork oh, cool. as yeah. well. Textile pictures, applique. Foundation paper piecing as well. It's yes. always good for smaller scraps, isn't it? Absolutely. But the trouble is we end up <laughs> with, with literally boxes and boxes of scraps. Yeah, well, we're yeah. the same, aren't we? We're here. We always think, oh, that's a little piece. Don't want that to be thrown away we'll keep it and we've got our boxes of scraps which are just taking over here now and we think oh we, we just we, we've now started doing um we've started sending them over to the warehouse and we're doing um scrap bags so we're going to start selling different bags uh, but also they're good if they are really little pieces and you think do you know what i'm not going to use that it's always good for using as stuffing isn't it yeah i'll tell you what i do as well i have a box where even really really small bits or uh, I s are snipped up in and then um, with children we just do collage with them oh nice yeah so cool. actually not very much is wasted at all if i can help it but yes yeah, stuffing is a good idea yeah. right we'll just press that one susie duncan she uses it for her they've actually got pet rats and they use them for bedding for her pet rats. Well, very posh rats. It is, it is quite posh, isn't it? <laughs> yes. But uh, but a good idea. So then you just do the same down either side as well. Yes. When I made that cushion, yeah. I cut. Um, I made two long strips out of the widths of fabric. So I cut two three inch strips that were the width of the fabric and four three and a half inch strips that were the okay. width of the fabric and that made enough to go around the whole cushion lovely and then you envelope back on this one and and, and that's it lovely cushion nice yeah. i'm quite quite a fan of an envelope back it makes it quick and easy doesn't that's it? that's a really good technique though isn't it that harlequin border because um yeah it's transferable skill i've never seen that before Love it. Thank you ever so much. Okay. Um, see you in Yarn Lane. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> thank you ever so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm ever so sorry to anybody who might have missed it, but well done everybody who has got these fabrics because they are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Right, we're literally going to go to a one minute break just to clean down the desk because I want to talk you through uh, the, the, the uh, 560 which we have got availability of, the 570A completely sold out, but I will see you in literally one minute from now. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers.
Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So we've just seen over the last couple of hours Catherine using this machine and we just thought we would talk about it as, if I'm being honest, all of the other fabric is sold out now. Everything that we had from the hour is gone. And yesterday we did do um, a bit of a, a recap through the machines that were available. The 570A is now completely sold out. The um, 580 plus, another one, very, very limited, less than 10 of those machines. This is another one, less than 10 machines left in uh, in stock. We're very, very lucky to have the relationship with Elna that we do. In fact, Jane was here yesterday afternoon shooting some videos, um, some t tips and tricks and troubleshooting things with your Elna machines. Uh, so we're very, very lucky that we have that relationship because right now there is a huge problem with supply and demand in the in the sewing machine world it isn't just here where we're struggling to get hold of them it is a, a global problem so when this one came thank you when this one came back into stock just before Christmas it was so exciting because I think this is such a great machine for anybody who may had borrowed a machine maybe at the start of last year and got into a bit of sewing making face coverings or I know lots of people who are doing all sorts of sewing for the NHS and, and just sewing to keep mindful and now you're at a point that maybe you do want to invest in a computerized machine you do want a little bit more than a you know a second hand one that's, that's lasted you well but um, now you're ready to grow with a new machine and I think this is where this machine sort of sits. Uh, if you want to move to a computerized machine that's still user friendly, not daunting, that's still got plenty of stitches, but one that you might want to put away. So if you don't have a dedicated sewing space, it doesn't take up much room. It's really lovely and lightweight, yet it's not going to be, uh, you know, jumping all over your, 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 your surface. It's still going to be a nice, robust machine. Now, when you were looking at this sort of price, I cannot believe some of the features and functions and additional extras that you get with this machine for that price. So if you are looking at this sort of budget, it's worth checking and seeing whether it has, uh, what, what it comes in, oh, I need to take the, uh, the free arm off, uh, what comes in the box. So this has got a free arm, which means you also get an extension table. So if you do want extra sewing space, if you're thinking, right, I want to really start doing more quilting, I want to be able to do more dressmaking, uh, that will sit all flat, it's just my, um, my feet aren't out properly. Uh, if you want to have a go at, well, even just any projects, any sort of pressure you're taking away from that needle bed, the better. So if you are sewing, I'd always recommend putting your extension table on anyway. In fact, we've got a bit of a list of everything that you get included in the box with this machine. So you have uh, bobbins, an extension table, you have a foot controller and a hard case, instruction manual, lint brush, extra needles, we're talking about that, your power cable, screwdrivers, all of your different um, spool caps and seam ripper. You also get a great selection of feet. So your standard A foot, your quarter of an inch patchwork foot, your zipper foot, bag makers, dressmakers, absolutely brilliant that you've got that included as well. If you're putting your piping uh, on, I know that yesterday Barbara was using it throughout her demo. Satin stitch foot, over edge foot, automatic buttonhole foot and also a blind hem stitch foot so all of these feet if you're thinking right this is a bit of a minefield i don't know when i'm going to need to put those feet on how do i know when to change it on the side of your machine you've got different stitch charts which will navigate you through all of the different stitches. So you've got a huge selection here of utility stitches. You can see you've got your nice selection of buttonholes. Uh, you've got some uh, quilting stitches, some more decorative stitches, some applique stitches, two different flashcards full with 100 stitches on here. So you've got all of those. Now it's easy to navigate through on your LCD screen. I'll go back to what I was talking about with the feet um, here. So straight away, it automatically defaults to your straight stitch with the recommended stitch width and stitch length. It's telling me that I need the A foot on, which is your standard A foot. If I go through the, um, the stitches, it'll tell me if I need to put something different on. So can you see that you now need your C foot? If I keep going through, um, I'm not sure what um, uh, 12 is, 
12 um, looks a bit like an over edge sort of stitch, but you need your F foot on. So it's really easy to navigate through. It goes up in tens and then it goes up in your ones here. You can also override the stitch width and stitch length. The great thing about having a computerized machine is that it automatically defaults to its recommended stitch width and stitch length. And you'll see the needle sort of jump from side to side, moving that needle position um, as you go through. So you can see it moving like that. Oh, don't worry, it's not your eyes. It's Paul. <laughs> it's Paul's eyes. Uh, and then, so if we're on a straight stitch, and a lot of the stitches you can, of course, still override. So if you're working with satin stitches, even though you've already got 100 stitches on this machine, you can override them to make them wider, smaller. With your satin stitches, it looks great. So it's worth having a play with them. This machine, you can go right up to a maximum seven millimeter stitch width, and it will not let you do anything you're not allowed to do. So listen. It will tell me if I'm not allowed to go any further. So that's fine. You're not going to break it. This is then your plus, um, plus you can go up to a five um, millimeter stitch length. If you do just want to go back to the start, the great thing is that it's also got these speed dial buttons, which I call them speed dial, because if you go back to the first one, there it will take me back to my straight stitch, recommended stitch width and stitch length. You've also got your zigzag, um, you've got like an over casting stitch here, you've also got a buttonhole, it will tell you what foot to wear, every, uh, to wear, to put on, <laughs> tell you what shoes to wear, it's great isn't it? It will also tell you if you have got the foot pedal plugged in, now you can use this with or without a foot pedal, so if I unplug it, can you see that it's disappeared now? I'll plug it back in again and it will reappear. So if I then take it out, it means that I can use the buttons on the front. Uh, well, you can still use all the buttons on the front, but you can use this one here, which is your start stop. When I first um, started sewing, that was uh, a brilliant feature. I, I found it a lot easier to control them with my foot, but now, I don't know, I suppose it's what you're used to, isn't it? It's what you're used to. Maybe uh, you're teaching children to sew and they can't quite reach the foot pedal or if you have any sort of, um, you know, problems where you're struggling to, to press the, the, the foot pedal with your foot, you've got the start-stop button. You've got reverse stitch here, you've got a locking stitch, you've got needle up down. This is the game changer. To be able to say that you have got your automatic thread cutter will not over say, say it will not only save you lots of time, it will also save you lots of thread. Uh, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And most of our guest designers that come in, they will always ask for a machine that has got a thread cutter. And this is the most affordable machine that has this cutter. It's amazing. So you've also got your variable speed control, so you can slow it right down if you're doing more intricate sewing or if you're you know, you're starting out, it's invaluable to be able to control your speed. You can speed it up whilst you're sewing as well, so if you get to a point where you're pivoting, you can slow it right down. It, it is a great machine with lots of amazing features and functions, but also the best thing for me is that it's really user friendly. I want to be able to just start sewing without having too many different things that could go wrong. Uh, threads up beautifully, you've got a top loading bobbin with a thread cutter on the top there as well. Oh, do you know what I haven't shown you? This button. How did I not know this was here? This machine has got a memory for your thread cutter. Oh my word. So you don't need to um, actually even press the thread snip button. If you want to press that at the start, can you see on the screen, Paul, there is also um, a, a little snip that's, that's appeared. And that basically means that um, that automatic thread cutter is engaged on the memory. So every stitch sequence that finishes, you will end up trimming your threads, which is just fab, isn't it? It's so good. Don't get me wrong, you don't have to. So if you're doing gathering and you want to keep your threads longer, then of course you don't need to. You don't need to uh, have that uh, engaged. But yeah, great that it's also got a memory. It's £579 and it is now available on split pay, which means that over just three payments, you pay £193, easy payments, interest-free. You can get it home 
and you can get sewing but it just makes it so much more affordable it makes it so much more accessible and this is why sewing machine sales here at Sewing Street have gone absolutely through the roof I think with this uh, with, with with lockdown and with the pandemic lots of people have said that uh, sewing has been their savior in fact we've had lots of lovely messages come through just a message in from Lorraine hi Lorraine just had a message saying my Elna 570A is coming on Monday. So excited, Lorraine. It's amazing. I've also had a message from Wendy Orlando. I have the pleasure of using all of the machines when I come here. She said, this is one of her favourites. Don't be fooled into thinking it's for advanced sewers. Oh no, it's so easy to use. She said it's simple enough for those who are starting out, but also has so much on it that it's perfect for all levels. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, she's also said the extension table that you get with it is great for larger projects. Oh, Wendy, I miss you lots. Miss you lots. She says, I'm getting my Vicks fixed today. Lovely to, to, uh, to hear from you. And thank you for your message as well. It is a great machine. If you've got any questions, please always message in. Because if we can answer them on air, then we will. And if we can't, we'll find out from Jane, from, from Elna. So we will always find out. I know lots of people talk on the community fan page as well, on the Facebook fan page. It's definitely worth just asking any questions that you have. There was something else that I was going to mention. I think, was it about split pay? Right, so it comes with a two-year warranty. It will come directly from Elna, but under our shipping costs. So if you've bought any of that fabric, the glow-in-the-dark fabric that I'm not mentioning again, the glow-in-the-dark fabric, um, you've already paid your postage and packaging. Therefore, you can still get this sewing machine under that same P&P, that one three ninety five P&P. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, we do love it, absolutely love it. Now, just very quickly before I go to the break, we have got still availability on these lovely tweed bags. I love that bag, that is so nice. It's so soft as well, it's so, so lovely and soft. We'll start with the animal print, uh, which is the one that you can see there. It comes with your pattern, it comes with your hemline, um, uh, handles which you've also got the back on which is good so they're lovely sturdy faux leather black handles you also get your lining which this time we've gone for charcoal so you can see it's slightly different to this one uh, but actually I think it works better it does work better um, it doesn't stand out as much does it and then oh this fabric <gasps> Wendy you'll love this it's absolutely gorgeous it's so soft it's fluff it's fluffy it's just gorgeous it's fleecy it's amazing in fact we've got a tiny bit left and um me and Kat are going to be fighting over it who gets it to make a scarf because that is just so lovely isn't it <gasps> so lovely we had it earlier by the half meter and it completely sold out but that is a nice size bag isn't it plus remember you do get your tweed bag pattern from Leicestershire Craft Centre which is Catherine's um it's gorgeous we also have that one Catherine finished it can I bring it down Right, this is the tweed bag finished. Woo, woo, woo. Look. How good's that? So a couple of hours. There you go. Done, done, done. Um, these are brilliant, aren't they? Uh, I, and I must say, it is one of those patterns that you're going to use and use and use again. I think you're going to be like Catherine and, and make quite a few of these. Uh, just wanted to let you know there are a few still left in stock. If you missed this morning, it was on at 8am. You get your pattern, your lining, um, and don't be put off by the fact that this is checked because she talked all about pattern matching today. So you can watch the show back. It also comes with the brown faux leather handles. Very clear demonstration today. So it's definitely worth uh, watching back if you haven't already. Okay, we've got Sashko coming up after the break. I think after Yvonne's show the other day, did you watch the sew along? I watched, it was brilliant. It was so lovely to see Yvonne back um, uh, with the sew along. And she's obviously got a huge passion for, for Japanese fabrics. We've got a whole hour dedicated to Sashko coming up. Don't go anywhere, we're back after this. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now. And by stitching, I'm talking about counted cross stitch or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's been a really, really lovely morning. We've still got another hour now at Sewing Street, but don't forget Yarn Lane this afternoon. And Catherine Wright's done two great demos today. She's going to be back teaching us to knit and crochet, which again is just lovely and mindful, isn't it? I said to, to Catherine, it's a lot when she's preparing for three shows, it's a lot of um, sort of projects to, to prepare for. And she said, you know what, I love it. I just love sitting in front of the television doing my knitting and crochet. So she's going to teach us all. We've got great scarves. We've got a lady's shawl. We've got a beautiful bag. The cro I didn't even think, I know this is just naive. I had no idea that you'd be able to do a crochet bag. How amazing is that? So that's coming up on Yarn Lane tonight, uh, tonight, today, this afternoon. This afternoon, um, the hat as well. We're going to show you some demos, how to do it. Um, this is a new, that was a new technique to Catherine as well. The shawl is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Looks so cool, doesn't it? It does look lovely. So that's Yarn Lane. Uh, if you've managed to get the 560 today, um, well done. Now we're going to do something completely different. We're going from, of course, your speedy sewing, you can just do your bit of a production line and get yourself some quick projects done with your machine, to exactly what I was talking about with knitting and crochet. 
sitting on the, the sofa, watching a bit of telly, doing something mindful. And I think at the moment, it is so, in, so important. I know lots of people who sit listening to podcasts or listening to music or just sitting, you know, in just silence, just doing some hand stitching. It's lovely. Um, or having us up on in the background. Right, where shall we start? Because we have got the most beautiful Japanese stitching technique um, called Sashko. Those of you that haven't heard of Sashko before, it's definitely worth having a, a read up on it because it's got a great history. And if you can do a running stitch, up, down, up, down, up, down, then you can do Sashko. And it can be taken to such levels of uh, embellishing denim jackets and, and jeans and all sorts. Right, so the absolute queen of um, Sashko and somebody who I'd really, really recommend learning from is Susan Briscoe. We're really lucky that we um, have her on board at Sewing Street. She often comes on and, and does demonstrations. You might have met her at different, uh, if you've been to any exhibitions, uh, she's often there. Susan Briscoe is a fountain of knowledge when it comes to this beautiful Japanese stitching technique. So she talks you through everything that you need to get started. I think all of her other books, by the way, have completely sold out. So if you do want a Sashko book, this is a really affordable way of getting started. It will tell you what are necessities and what are more gadgets or what you don't really need. The great thing about Sashko is you don't actually need that much to get going. It's not going to be a huge investment to start a new hobby or start a new craft. I mean, $6.99 for Susan Briscoe's knowledge and techniques is an absolute steal. Talking about using your, your Sashko thread, um, talking about uh, how to, to, to do your basic Sashko stitching, uh, talking about framing, making a hanging sleeve, and then goes into some projects. So these are transferable techniques that you can make into bags, you've got a tote bag. Even can, it even does, does show you not only the stitches, but also assembling the bag and making the handles. You've got all of your instructions. Greetings, cards, things like this. I mean, they're lovely, aren't they? Smaller projects. You don't have to commit to doing a huge hand-sewn sampler. Um, it can be something that's a smaller project, even a cushion front. How beautiful is that? How beautiful. Now, it does talk you through how to, to, to draw up your grid, which way to follow your stitching. Um, it's a good idea when you're starting out Sashko to use different colour threads so you can see the journey that your stitches are going. So, for example, this one, quite often, traditionally, it's on an indigo fabric uh, and with a cream or a white thread. But using different colours is great to start with because, look, you can see that you're doing the basic running stitch all through here. Then the next stitch is this one here. In red, they've gone round, back over. So it, it's really good to just show you your route of where you're going. Um, but Susan explains all this in the book. So that's still your cushion. Some lovely little table mats. This is a really nice gift for somebody who wants to get into sewing. Uh, something even just a basic running stitch. If you know somebody who already loves uh, embroidery and cross stitch and things, it's a different take on it. But even someone who has never sewn before, just doing, of course, your, uh, your, your, ha your basic running stitch. It's brilliant. So you've got all of your projects for $6.99. It's a brilliant value for money. This is a beautiful sampler. Big wall hanging. I mean, you don't need to take all of these elements. You could just take one of the blocks. Um, but you've got some really great techniques here and, and lots of great patterns, which are very, very popular in the Sashko world. Love them all. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, I know a lot of people who, you know, enjoy a bit of hand stitching but think, right, but what do I do with it? There's only so many wall hangings I can have or only so many um, sampler quilts that I have time to make. <laughs> Whereas actually, how do I incorporate that into other projects? And this is great because you can incorporate it into your dressmaking, into your bag making, into quilting, into soft furnishing. Right, they have flown into baskets. I think this is going to be one of those days where everything is just selling out today. It's been manic. Thank you very much for your company. Thank you very much. This is the very last Susan Briscoe book that we have. Suja, hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year to you. Oh, I know Suja has been amazing at Sashko. I remember the last show that we did, we saw some brilliant, brilliant projects that you've been doing. This is using variegated thread. Great idea. In fact, we've got some of the variegated Sashko threads coming up today. 
And in fact, actually, if you love Suja's design, you look at it and you think that is way beyond my skill levels. I'm just not going to be able to do that. The great thing is as well is that we've got some panels. So that will give you a great starting point of how to get stitching. You don't need to worry about drawing out your grid and your charts and your, 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 your lines that you need to follow. It's all there for you. So that's the book. Let's do some of the panels. We'll start with some of the smaller ones first. So we've got um, Noshi which is this one. It's printed onto 100% cotton um, and it is one which I would suggest you do not pre-wash because the markings will disappear if you pre-wash it. Now, this navy is the most traditional colourway, very traditional colourway indeed. And you can see uh, the size of it is 12 inch square. You can see the pattern. Am I allowed to open it? Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on, she said. I will um, be very careful because we can put this back. Just, I won't open them all. I just want you to see the size of them. Um, and this pattern is always very, very popular because actually you could just take elements. This is designed um, especially, obviously, for, for Sashko. So you can see here, there's your pattern. All of your instructions are here as well. It will tell you where how to start and end. And this will then disappear. So once you've done this stitching, if you wash it, this will then become the back of your cushion or the back of your placemat, and it won't have the markings on, which is great, isn't it? It was like, please do not use a water-soluble, uh, it, it is a water-soluble print, so do not iron with steam. Do not iron it with steam before you start. Um, it, it, it is just very, very simple that you could just take it sort of, um, they're like it's like a, a bow isn't it a ribbon you could just take it each part as it comes so you could do your waves you could do your hexes you could just start with the basic running stitch um, and you could do them all in different colors even couldn't you well that's a great one 12 pounds 99 fantastic that you've also got your pre-printed instructions that are water soluble so it will talk you through um all of the different stitches that you're going to need. Jumping stitches, uh, jumping stitches, your stitch direction, how to do it. So all of your instructions are there as well. Okay, what are you thinking, Paul? Um, I probably, um, I don't know, it's a good question. If you odor coat it, because they do recommend odor coating things first, don't they, before you sew it. What I would do is I would do all your stitching first. I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk it. Uh, we've had a message come through from Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, look at this. Good morning. Just wanted to say if you're unsure about Sashko, go for it. It is easy and, uh, and very mindful, very mindful. Easily portable when we get a chance to go out. <laughs> she says, I love it. Here's one I did uh, last year from my stash. I hope you like it. See, that is incredible. Oh, look, there's the Noshi, isn't it? Is it? In the top corner? Yeah. I think I know which one you've done. We don't have it on the show today, do we? Um, we've got the Geos on the show today, but um, that is beautiful. And I, I bet so many people ask you about it. It looks so, so spectacular. And just doing it with a classic cream thread, look at how nice that looks. Really gorgeous colour. I like the burgundy. Um, I love the fact that as well, we're so interactive. Please, if you've had a go before, get involved. We'd love to see your photographs. Keep them coming in. Um, if you do want to email in, that's how you send in your photographs. Studio at sewingstreet.com. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, this one's your seasons. Oh, I knew it would be popular. It's always very popular. I think we all got inspired listening to, uh, to Yvonne uh, Makatamne talking about her love for, for Japanese fabrics and her influences as well. It's definitely worth, if you haven't already got one of Susan's Briscoe book, grabbing that one that was 6 99 that was so good because she does give you some brilliant, um, really brilliant techniques to, to learn along the way. But you do get your instructions on your pre-printed panel. This one, could you come really close to that, Paul, and we'll have a real good look at that. Thank you. Um, it's a 12-inch square again. It's going to be ideal if you want to make it into a, a small bag. You could make it into a... Um, a wall hanging, you could make it into a cushion front, so much that you're going to be able to do. Why don't I add it to the back of a denim jacket? 
Just because de uh, Sashko can be done on denim doesn't mean that you can't do it in applique on something. Just saying. I think this would be amazing. Oh, or for a center block of a quilt, you could then use, we've got some of the other um, fabrics like this that you could use as borders. You could even do the borders that we've just learned with Catherine. Your Harlequin border around the edge and just have your centerpiece like the Fireflies fabric, the center panel of your, uh, of your cushion and then some of your borders. Oh yeah, with the variegated thread, it's gonna really pop, really, really pop. Uh, so that's your really traditional colorway. I'm gonna keep with the blues. This time, this is your mixed patterns. So if you wanna dip your toe in and have a go at lots of different patterns, you've still got some very traditional ones here. You've got waves, which is classic. Um, in uh, quilting, we know this is clamshells, don't we? Whereas in Sashko, it's known as waves. There's different meanings behind each stitch. This is why I say, honestly, when you start getting into Sashko, Suja, you'll, you'll probably agree. You can just get so deep into it. You can just research and research and research. And every single stitch, every single pattern has got a different meaning. And I love that. I always, I find Japanese culture just, oh, I, that's on my bucket list. We were gonna go, weren't we? Paul and I, a few years ago, we were um, saying, let's just go, let's go to Japan. We were gonna go. We were gonna go when Lauren went. We were gonna go with Lauren, I think, my friend Lauren. So um, yeah, gutted, I'd love to go. It's definitely on my, my bucket list because I just love that there's a lot of symbol, uh, symbolic references and, and, and peace and love. The culture's just lovely, isn't it? Um, £12.99. So I like the fact that these also have got meaning towards them. It's definitely worth reading about. I think this one is called, I can't quite see it, but I think that might be the... No, it's not seven treasures. It's not seven treasures. It's a bit different. You've almost got like your tumbling blocks, which again will have a different meaning with Sashko. Um, it's just so cool. It is just so lovely. I know lots of our guest designers. Kara Ackerman loves Sashko. We, uh, so she's now like our Sashko representative. She loves it. She absolutely loves it. Just £12.99. Once again, just a reminder. Just a reminder that it is um, it is water soluble uh, ink on there, so be careful. But it's perfect that you can almost see what it's going to look like already. You can see what this pattern is going to look like when it's stitched. You can follow the lines, literally follow the lines. But can you see? It will tell you which path to go, but you'd probably do these straight lines first. Don't worry about doing all of these funny sort of star shapes. You're literally just doing quite a lot of straight lines, running stitch. We've got the needles, we've got the right thread as well that you're going to need. So the next blue, we're gonna stick with this colorway, which is your autumn. So this has got your dragonflies. Dragonflies, you'll see a lot in Japanese fabric. They are extremely symbolic. In fact, uh, let's have a look. What, or you have a look. I don't wanna be sitting here Googling it. Um, what do you think, it, what is it? What is the symbolism with, um, with dragonflies? So you've got the, the waves at the bottom. You've got the dragonflies here. This one's called Autumn. It's a 12 inch square, 100% cotton, hand printed, lovely quality fabric. Um, but again, you could use this with, what about even like a, a mustardy color? Your mustard color thread. Red and blue is really nice together. Red and blue, it does look great together as well. Um, oh, if anybody knows, let us know. Let us know. Cat's, um, yeah, cat's not looking. Oh, she says everyone's sending in their, pi in their pictures, so I'm just doing a PowerPoint. Cranes as well, whilst you're at it, Paul. Dragonflies. Dragonflies are symbols of courage, strength, and happiness. Love that. I think we need that. Yeah, we need all of that, don't we? How about cranes? You said that before. Two cranes on here. Good fortune and longevity. Yes, please. We need that as well. Right, so these are your cranes. Uh, this one's called two cranes. Oh, is there a difference with the symbolism, do you mean? What, what's the symbolism with two cranes? Is it like, you know, when you see the magpies here? Wings carry souls up to paradise, it's believed. 
often used as a ceremonial wrapper. <laughs> oh, like origami, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we never even saw that. Paul got, re in his words, really into origami. He made a T-Rex out of uh, origami. What was it made out of paper? Paper, that's so cool. He said, I've still got it. It's wicked. £12.99. Come on in and have a look at this uh, crane design again so you can see two big cranes. That would be an amazing central block of a, of a quilt, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, two cranes. Oh, dear. <laughs> They're all of the, the navy blues, by the way. They're all of the traditional colourways. We've got some slightly larger ones. Oh, no, they're not. They're 12 inch, they're bigger packets, but this is the same size. So I've also got your natural colour. It's 85% cotton and 15% linen. Let's do purity. Purity and serenity. And look at this, this pattern is so beautiful. Once again, it will give you, of course, all of your instructions on your pre-printed panel. These exactly the same as before, attention. Do not use steam iron or water. Um, attention. <laughs> and then it, it just lost its attention, didn't it, the camera there. Uh, but if you are going to pre-wash this, be aware that all of your markings will disappear. So don't, don't. Uh, with a plain background, you can really play with some of these gorgeous variegated threads that we've got as well. We'll come to those in a bit. Absolutely perfect. Um, Serenity we've got up next. Serenity is the one that Suja did. Uh, the, the picture that we had from Suja. Um, <laughs> we saw Serenity. Did you see how uh, Suja did the, the sun in different colours? I mean, it would be beautiful in variegated thread like Suja did. Um, this one in your greige. It's an actual word now. I thought we made it up. Grey and beige, greige. Oh, I thought we made that up. I thought we made that thing. Maybe we did. Maybe we did. And maybe Sashko Cloth are uh, 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 jumping on our bandwagon. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Such beautiful value. Oh, brilliant. Right, so we've had lots of you sending in photographs of your um, Sashko work. Please keep them coming in. Uh, this is from Judith. Judith in Hertfordshire said, made this one from Susan's kit. I have become addicted. Love it. That is great, isn't it? Love the fabrics that you've used as well as your um, sort of contra you, your contrasting... Um, Fabrics, they look really, really nice. Um, here's another one from, oh, no name. Good morning, this is my first attention. Sashko completed it during lockdown. Yes, it's okay to show if you like. Thank you very much. Uh, truly relaxing, that's from Elle. Honestly, that is awesome. Well done, you should be really, really proud of yourself. And it's lovely, isn't it, during lockdown to have just a bit of slow sewing. It's one thing I've learned this year is to slow down, just slow down. I know I don't, I find it very difficult to slow down, I'm trying. Oh, this is the Dragonflies one, hi Vicky. This is my Dragonfly Sashko, sorry, um, it's a bit creased. Oh no, don't worry. She says I've only just finished it. Sashko is so relaxing and very portable. I know a lot of people who can't physically sit on the sofa and watch the telly without doing something with their hands. Or, you know, if you when we do get to travel, when you're on the train or on the, the bus or something, it's nice to be able to just stitch in, you know, whilst you're on the go as well. Thank you for sending your pictures in. This is the one, by the way, that Bev, Bev stitched. Um, we had that earlier on. It was amazing. So there's your graphics, £12.99. Let's do some threads because we were talking about them earlier. Can we do our big ones? As you've just seen from the messages, Sashko comes with a bit of an addiction warning. Trust me, you will not just do one project. You will not just do one project. It's something that you are going to use a lot. Having the right tools for the job makes such a difference on your work. So having the right, um, the right threads, different to embroidery skein. So embroidery skein is pre-stranded cotton, which you can detach with 
sashko thread you do not detach it you use all of your thread you're not taking any of the uh the, the extra threads out so susan briscoe the queen of sashko she cannot get this thread at these prices she was baffled wasn't she she was a bit annoyed <laughs> Should we go with the white first? Because I think this is really traditional, especially um, against some of the, 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 the blues. So finally, back in stock. We've been waiting for white to come back in. This is 100 metres of your Sashko thread for 4 99 And it really is important to have the right thread for the job. Now, Susan does give you a bit um of an indication here using sashko thread so first open out the skein and remove the paper band look for the extra loop of thread tied around the skein and cut through all the threads at this point like that honestly it is the scariest thing you think this is against the grain i should not be doing this i should not be doing this but no you do you cut you cut it literally like that and then it says the threads seem very long but don't cut them so just keep them long and what you do then is you plait them um hold the rest of the end of the skein and loosely plait the threads to keep them tidy draw individual threads from the top of the plait so this is a really useful book actually to be able to learn little tips like that of how to use your thread uh, effectively that's just £4.99. We also have, oh, they have flown into baskets. Well done on buying multiples. I know, uh, oh, in fact, they're going to sell out today. They will sell out today. We've waited ages to get this back in stock. Here's your um, grey, silvery grey, not greyish. £4.99 for 100 metres, 100 metres of thread. Just so you know, the smaller packs that we have are um, 20 metres. The smaller packs that we have are 20 metres, so you have got a lot for your money here. Trust me, the prices are fantastic. £4.99. We've also got your ochre colourway, which I think is my fave. Look at these together. Oh, Pantone colour of the year, grey and yellow. Just putting it out there. That'd be really nice together. On the Serenity panel, oh, they would look gorgeous next to the, uh, the sort of greyish panel. Is that a thing? Is it a thing? Can we make it a thing? Is it an actual colour? Greyish is in all of the shops, apparently. Ah. Have you heard of greyish before? 100 metres, remember, it is designed especially for Sashko. It's really lovely and strong as well. It is really lovely and strong. Obviously, it's designed to... to the, traditionally, Sashko was um, to make clothes more durable. Farmers wear would be um, stitched over the top of to make it really nice and durable. Um, so of course the thread itself has to be really really strong if you're going through denims and things like that then that's absolutely perfect four pounds 99 sorry you annoyed that i'm on your chair paul are you in are you in <laughs> are you in a different chair they've paul has very very kindly um given me his chair because it's got a back so it's slightly more comfortable for me for one night only whilst he's here. <laughs> Elliot lets me sit on his chair every day. Um, this is lovely, this blue, but Paul, I could tell in his eyes he didn't want to give me the chair. So, are you using that chair today, Vic? I could sense the tone, Paul. It's like, yeah, I am. <gasps> Four pounds, 19 over 100 metres. 100 metres of your lovely blue. We've got all of the variegated, by the way, but these are the only solid colours. The price on these. Right, hang on. Can I just say, look, the variegated are amazing. You get 20 metres on there and they are really lovely quality. They are, uh, well, everything's great quality, but they're the ones that, of course, you're going to be able to get some great effects with variegated. So, yes, I'd expect them to be a bit more considered. But four ninety nine is two four six eight is five. You've got five times the amount, and you'll get it. You're going to pay ninety nine p per twenty meters. And I mean, 
trust me, we are not going to be able to do the variegated thread at 99p. We're just not. So it's definitely worth making the most of this. Value for money because um, as the ladies have just said, it's addictive. I love it. It gets addictive. So do make sure you get uh, plenty of thread to keep you going. We're going to uh, just bring in a message. Who's this from? Hi, Ellen. Ellen said perfect grey. Right, okay. So it, the colour is absolutely named. It resembles the central meeting point between grey and beige. There you go. It doesn't sway between grey or between beige. There you go. Thank you ever so much, Ellen. So it is a thing. We thought we made it up. Harry's messaging saying, hi, Vicky. Carrie, sorry. <laughs> the cream team Greg's. Do Greg's? I think you mean, I think you mean greyish, don't you? Um, the term, sorry, not team. The term greyish, I'm going to say, or Greg's. Greg's have been around a few years as well. They've been around in the industry for quite some years now to determine a grey beige nail colour. Oh, is that where it was? Looking swell. Thank you. No Greg's, no Greg's. We've done no Greg's January. We're doing very well to say it's literally done. Right. We haven't had a Greg's. When was the last one we had? Way before Christmas, wasn't it? Way before Christmas. Done very, very well. Um, right, so they're all of your solid colours. Should we do the variegated? We'll fly through these um, because we're already halfway through the hour. Blue and white. And you look at your different shades of blue. You've got from teals into light blue, into dark blue, yep. <laughs> Why are you so low in the chair, Kat? What, what chair are you on? Right, Kat says, I can't see the code because I'm too low in my chair. Um, right, so you've got 20 metres. So still, great price, we're less than two pounds, 179, this is what I was talking about with the value for money though on the, uh, the big, uh, 100 meter packs that's why they fly out but these as I say they're going to be uh, maybe you don't use them for the whole project but you just want to do elements of it in variegated thread as Suja was saying it makes such a difference it really really does look lovely that's your blue and white um, we've got loads of those in baskets we've got the pinks which is VQ9978 please cap um, Right, so this isn't just pink. You've got a really lovely light pink that just will blend seamlessly into different colours. Oh, I've a lot of people have spotted all of these already on the website and have already ordered them. Um, £1.79, loads of you have already got them. They do look gorgeous. 20 metres of your thread. They're the same company that produce Susan Briscoe's panels as well. So if you do want to, um, if you do want to mix and match them in, of course they'll all work together absolutely perfect. They complement perfectly. Here's the sort of greens and, uh, and, and olive tones. You've got turquoise tones in there. ET99. <laughs> Phone home. <laughs> 46 please cat. Um, what is E.T. short for? Because he's got little legs. Oh, that is, was that one of your Christmas cracker jokes from about five years ago? Paul manages to store all of these jokes in his head. He doesn't have a book or anything. He doesn't have a book that he carries around. He just knows that all of these jokes. Is March 4th still your favourite? One pound seventy nine for twenty. Oh yeah, that's it. Uh, for twenty meters of your gorgeous, gorgeous greens, we've got another shade of green, which is more of your khaki. This is BM ninety nine thirty five. Twenty meters. What do you think of this? Oh, I think with serenity, actually, with this color. Maybe for your leads. Oh, or your sun. I mean, they're, they're just amazing. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. Right, you've got your yellows right into your khakis, into your deep olive greens. ninety pound ninety-nine for your variegated 20 metres of Olympus Sashko thread. Olympus, um, uh, they are a Japanese, they are a, a Japanese company that uh, Susan Briscoe has recommended to us to you. So this is all going by the absolute experts recommendation. So you can't go wrong with these. She says they are the best ones. This, I think, is my favourite. 
I love the oranges into the, the sort of duck egg blue, into your brunette shades as well. This one is CA9920, please. Thank you. 199. Uh, you've got 20 meters of your 100% cotton variegated thread. Now, remember, this isn't like your embroidery floss. This isn't stranded cotton. You don't take any strands out of this. You use it as one big chunky thread. You have it really loose. You have a nice big knot. It's a basic running stitch and it looks so, so, so effective. Um, so, we've got a couple more colorways. TG9963, please. Sunset shades, if you are doing Serenity. If you're wanting Serenity, this is the one. This is the one I'd go for. All over this. Everyone loves this one. 199 gone straight into baskets. £1.99 for 20 metres of thread. The oranges into greens, into reds, pinks. This is, uh, oh, Joe Wilcox, 99.76. There you go. JW, 99.76. Oh, your pinks, pink, pink, pink. Oh, what about for your lotus flowers? For your serenity or your purity, this would be really pretty. Really, really pretty. Just £1.79 for 20 metres. And then we've also got your one last variegated thread. Sorry, this has taken um, a bit longer. I just wanted to make sure that everybody's aware of the colours that we've got. One ninety nine. These are your brunettes and your lattes, your caramels. Go on, have a Christ Krispie cake. I dare you. You've done ever so well. There's only one left. Well done. Um, just one ninety nine. Do be careful if you've got any of the solid colours in the basket because... They are all very, very popular. The white and the grey in particular, 100 metres, remember, of each. Um, and they're 4 99 each. So whichever colours that you want, just be aware of those. Now, the needles or the panels. Needles first. I've got the long ones and the shorter ones. Long ones are great because you can really pack on as many stitches as you want. They're very, very sharp. They're very strong needles. The difference between your normal embroidery needles is one, you've got a nice big eye to be able to fit, fit your chunky Sashko thread th through. Oh, easy for me to say. You've then also got a really long needle. So you actually pack all of your running stitches in one sort of go onto your needle. It's a little gold-plated eye, yeah, absolutely. And they are extremely, extremely sharp to the point. So here you go. Needle sharp tip enforces smooth insertion into fabric. So if you are doing um, Sashiko onto denim or anything else that's, that's thicker and bulkier, these are going to be really, really useful. Having the right needle for the job, we always know, is, is, is invaluable. So they're your long needles. You also have the shorter ones. Now, it is all just sort of personal preference. It is personal preference. With these, once again, they are really, really sharp to the point. They're very, very strong indeed. Um, and I don't know whether these are slightly more sort of flexible. I can't remember. I wanna, I'm just going to open one just so I can see and I'll, I'll put it back. Or are they more rigid? No, they haven't got a bend to them. They are rigid. I was just thinking, I wondered whether, and you're going in and out, whether they would have it like a beading needle, slightly more bent to them, but they don't. They're really strong and very rigid. Um, and they, it will be the same with the shorter ones as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Angie. Hello, Angie. Angie said, hi, Vicky. Uh, I've never seen this before. But I've purchased the dragonfly, uh, dragonfly needles and yellow and white thread. Honestly, you'll love it. And have a really good read up on it as well, um, Angie. Have a look on uh, our Sewing Street YouTube page and just type in Susan Briscoe. And honestly, she will just, it, it will just amaze you, the fountain of knowledge and, and, and the different facts. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. Uh, 
Susan Briscoe panels. Let's do the Susan Briscoe panels. Um, now, these are all the geometric prints. Um, I'll open one of them up so you can see. Is there a particular colour that you would like me to open? But look, I mean, it's up to you whether you choose to do it as... Um, who was it who sent in the photo earlier on? There was a lady who sent in the photo of it all sort of stitched all like this. But you could cut these out. There's nothing saying you. You could use these as as table placemats or, or as wall hangings. You don't need to do it as one big sampler quilt. You could do it as a, a quilting, you know, group friends uh, even, couldn't you? That everybody does a block. Um, you've also got the smaller ones through the centre which would make nice coasters or, or cards. Um, so, this one is, what colour would you say this is? Does it say? Um, I see 9996. It's dark green. Now, Susan Briscoe also, from Olympus, managed to get these fabrics and they're the same colours that are used. So if you do want the stripes as well, they do go perfectly. Um, £199, sorry, not £199, no. That, <laughs> how much? Excuse me. Uh, £19.99, just £20. That's it. They are all again, um, they're pre-printed panels. The markings will disappear in the wash, so just be aware. I'll do the indigo one so I can open it up. Um, mm, I don't. Oh yes, sorry, it's underneath the threads. Right, let's go. This is again under twenty pounds, which is fantastic. And now what Susan's done as well is it's up to you. They are stitch lines, but also could be cut lines. So if you do want to cut between these lines or just stitch it as a um, or, or stitch it. I mean, look at this. The colour's lovely as well. So you can see all of these different prints. I mean, it's massive, isn't it? You've got loads there. There's your waves. Start with something simple. That would look great in your variegated threads as well. Placemats and coasters. All these prints are the same in each panel, it's just all different colours. So you just saw the dark green, this is your indigo, which looks really nice with the white thread. Uh, the next one that we have is the red. Sorry, I just want to make sure this goes all nicely. These are designed by Susan Briscoe, especially for Olympus, which is fantastic really, isn't it? I mean, she is, as I say, the, the queen of, of Sashko. On the back of all of your little pamphlets that come with um, your kit, you do get some instructions as well about how to, to, to work with your thread and your needle. Um, it is in Japanese, but it's good job there's pictures. <laughs> This is a Japanese company, Olympus. Uh, let's do the red. This was the one that we had the lovely picture sent through, wasn't it? All very similar. It was the different one, wasn't it? This one is the, uh, the geometric designs. 19 pounds and 99 pence. We've got Yarn Lane coming up in 15 minutes, don't forget. Um, if you can stay with us this lunchtime, it'd be really, really lovely. We've got Catherine Wright joining us. If you're watching on Facebook, YouTube um, or on, on the website, then it's definitely worth at 12 o'clock switching over to Yarn Lane to watch the, the, the rest of the show. <laughs> Gorgeous deep red colours, aren't they? Um, we've also got the, like the blue colour, which is LS9985. They called it light blue. It's like, um, uh, I would call this like a, a gr right, if there's grey and beige, greyish, what's blue? and grey. Grey? <laughs> Glue? <laughs> yeah? There you go. They're both already words though, aren't they? But, um... Oh, what? A donkey bray? What's that? Cat can't tell me what it means. She just says it's a line from a film, all right. A donkey braise. Oh, it's the noise that they make. Oh, okay. Make the noise. <laughs> no, that's not a real word then, is it? It's a sound. It's onomatopoeia. Which is a word, which are words, aren't they? Just 1999, and that's for your light blue. I wouldn't say that was light blue. It's more of a deep, gorgeous. 
<laughs> oh, you're getting very technical now. I don't know. A bray is a, a is a sound made by a donkey. Okay. They also waffle. Waffle. Is that a word? Waffle. Gosh, we're learning all the words, aren't we? Um, right. 1999. This is your black. Right. I would definitely use this with some of your lovely coloured um, threads. Maybe you're variegated. Maybe you're variegated as well. 1999 for all of your different panels. I mean, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the big ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the small ones as well. So it's up to you whether you want to do it as a whole sampler quilt or whether you want to just keep these as blocks for other parts of quilts. You could just do four and then and then choose some of your other fabrics to go um, around it like we saw earlier on. Or you could make bags, cushion fronts, there's loads you can do as you could cut, of course, around those lines. They are stitch lines as well, which will disappear when washed. Uh, last one is um what color is this no it's not this is more well it is great um we're not asking it's a sandy it's a it's a it is a wet sand color yes that's a great description it's sometimes difficult, isn't it, on the telly to try and work out exactly the color, especially when it says grey on your screen. You think, oh, is my monitor wrong? Um, <laughs> just 1999. These are all of the lovely geometric prints. It's just a matter of which colors do you want. Uh, so they're all of Susan Briscoe's panels. Now, uh, I know that we are running late on time. We've got some fabrics by the half meter. These stripes are gorgeous and they'd make great tote bags for anybody who's got the book. Loads of you got the book. Grab some of the fabrics as well because they complement the panels beautifully. This is YR9982. This is green and blue. In fact, this would be nice for the tweed bag that we, done, uh, that we did earlier on. Okay, £9.99 half metre and it is gorgeous quality. Really, really gorgeous. I remember when Susan Briscoe got this in. I remember when she got this in and she was so excited about it. Um, it is absolutely lovely quality dyed yarn for £9.99. Thinking of kimono, thinking of a shirt, thinking of bags, absolutely soft furnishing, laptop cases and things like that. That would be really lovely. Um, we've also got the red and blue. N09923 please, Kat. You sound really far away, Paul. He's got his visor on. Come closer. Nine ninety nine. I do love that stripe. I think that is brilliant. What about the, the um, apron? What about for um, uh, the Leicestershire Craft Centre pattern, the linen apron that we've got here? The apron would look great in this, wouldn't it? And you could even do a sash go on a pocket or something. It'd be really nice. Purple, 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 purple. I'm excited for Yarn Lane, by the way. Really, really want to get into knitting. I think I'm a bit scared to take the plunge, if I'm honest. Need some encouragement. I can... I, I can knit, I can knit, I just can't follow a pattern. I think that's the difference. I can knit, <laughs> but can't follow the pattern. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've missed you so much, Paul. Please, please, can you come back? Not just one night only. Please, can you do an encore? On call, we want more. £9.99. Oh, alas, the Bosch is out in the office today. Oh, look at this. Purples and greens. Uh, we've also got some of the colours, which will go perfectly. Uh, just so you know, they're available on the website. We're flying through these because we've got Yarn Lane up next. And we've still got some other crane fabrics. Oh, we might get a chance to just fly through those. 
This one is really nice, isn't it? Nine pounds, 99 pence. This always got like an aubergine gray. I'm into all of these, you know, mixing color palettes at the moment. The grayish has got me thinking. Final color in the stripe is this one. We might not have time to do cranes. They'll definitely be on the website. They're on the website. We'll do the waves one. We wanted to, we really wanted to um, spend some time talking about having the right lighting for, for hand embroidery as well and, and hand stitching. Um, I watched the show with John and Claire a couple of days ago and it was really, really busy. There were lots of sellouts um, during that show. The Luminas, whether it be a table or a floor lamp, have been without a doubt the most popular. Um, they're great, aren't they? The Lumina lights, will, they're on the website. Lots of people getting them home, so please do let me know what you think of them. Uh, now, we've also got waves. Now, this is textured cotton. It feels a bit like a linen. It's, it's quite, um, it's quite a, a weighty fabric, actually. It'd be nice for, for soft furnishing. It'd be really, really lovely for, for home decors or for bag making as well. Can you almost see? You can kind of see the sort of graining. If I show you the reverse of it, that might help. That might help. For you to see the sort of texture that I'm, I'm feeling. Oh, there's a very, very, very uh, famous Japanese painting, the Great Wave of Karagawa, is it? Kanagawa. Um, I remember we had the glasses, cases and the magnets, didn't we? Um, which, again, extremely symbolic. Waves, very symbolic in, in Japanese culture. Right, so that's our Sashko show. I'm so, so sorry that we haven't had a chance to do everything that we wanted to do. The graphics for the crane fabrics are going to be on the website in the next few minutes. But coming up, tomorrow's show on Sewing Street, um, you're going to be joined by lovely John Scott at 8 o'clock. Don't forget the early bird special with Fabulous Fabrics uh, featuring Origin bird, Origins Birds. I think it's Victoria Carrington, isn't it? Victoria Carrington. At nine o'clock, she's going to be doing the sample cushions at nine o'clock. At 10 o'clock, we've got sewing room tours. 11 o'clock, uh, rabbit and blue tit applique cushions coming up again with lovely Victoria Carrington. I miss her so much. I've not seen her for over a year and she's literally one of the loveliest guest designers you'll meet. So please do make sure you show her all your support. And then we're going to be doing another Yarn Lane special. We've extended to four days a week, remember? So coming up next, without further ado, do not go anywhere. Please do make sure if you're watching on YouTube, on Facebook or on our website, you now tune over to yarnlane.com, Yarn Lane on Facebook or Yarn Lane on the YouTube channel and you can watch us live for the next hour. If you have never done knitting and crochet before, it's such an amazing hobby to get into and I'm, I'm, I'm really plucking up the courage to do it and of course we've got the perfect teacher, Catherine Wright, is going to be here to talk us through all of the kits and everything that you need to know. So get your questions in and we'll see you with Yarn Lane right after this. 